Lord. It's an exciting brand of football. They use the corridor. They move the ball quickly. Of course, Matthew Lloyd, their captain, he's back in the team for this big one. And uh, they have a chance to play finals for the first time, certainly under Matthew Knights, and it'll be a wonderful story for them if they can do that. But the Hawks, they've had a pretty ordinary season, but they're still alive, and I reckon they're pretty nasty because they're not happy about what happened to Buddy Franklin through the week. Well, let's have a look at the ladder as it stands at the moment. There's uh, the top ten, and really it's come down to Essendon and Hawthorne fighting for that last spot, and another big game also today, Carlton Adelaide. What a big stakes that is too. Oh, it's a massive day of football around Australia, isn't it? But uh, th this is the one that... Uh, we're really interested in all the talk through the week would buddy play wouldn't he play and here we see buddy arriving here at the mcg out for the next two games and uh yes he and uh, jared ruffett have had a remarkable record in recent times against the bombers they've uh, pretty much kicked half hawthorne score over the last five times these teams have played so just shows you how much they're missing today oh look it's uh, it's an enormous out of the hawthorne team the two big fellas up forward uh, they go through them so often, and, and the question is, who will kick the goals for the Hawks? Well, he's put some names up there at full foot. I don't know who they are, but there's someone up there playing. I reckon Cyril Rioli's one that they'll give a lot of room to in the forward line, and I think also uh, Luke Hodge is one that they'll have to play up forward. He's a, he's a champion, no doubt about that. We saw him in the grand final last year just dominate across the half-back line, but he can play forward. What about isolating someone like Rioli? Oh, I think that's a really good idea. Give him plenty of room. Give him uh, that forward 50 mix it up a little bit, put the Essendon defence under pressure. And you think they might have a go with Lewis too at some stage? I think Jordan Lewis will also play up forward. He did last week when the Hawks had that win over Richmond. So, look, if Buddy's not there uh, and Ruffy's not there, well, it gives opportunity to other players. Matthew Lloyd is back. It's his 15th season. He's kicked 926 goals for Essendon. Is this perhaps his last match? I hope not. There's some uh, debate as to whether he could be playing his last season of football. I reckon he's got at least one more in him. He's been knocked around a little bit with injury this year, but uh, he's back in the team, and I'd love to think that he could go on next season. Paddy Ryder back. They've got to roll the dice with his dodgy knee, and he's changed the uh, face of ruck work this year, along with Mitch Clark. Yeah, the athletic ruckman, and he's done a terrific job since he took over from David Hill very early in the season. He's had to carry the ruck work by himself. Had an outstanding season. Now, Luke Hodge in the warm-up, just uh, getting a bit of treatment in the warm-up, just a little bit of a twin show. So that about ice their cake for the week, wouldn't it, if Hodge pulled out before the game? Oh, they <laughs> certainly can't afford that. No, I'm sure he'll be all right. Let's have a look at the Essendon lineup. And as we said, a couple of big guns back in uh, Paddy Ryder and Matthew Lloyd, and what a difference that makes. Yes, and uh, look at Dustin Fletcher. He's been marvellous, the veteran. He'll wonder, who am I going to play on? Because no Franklin and no Roughhead, but uh, he, he can play on anyone from any size. And, of course, you've got Hurley up in the forward line with Matty Lloyd. We looked at the Hawks, a very young team and a very light team, aren't they, today? They've, they've had to play youngsters this year. That's a plus for them. But we have a look at their forward line. We think Hodge will play forward, Rioli. Now, Dowler, we saw Dowler kick three four. goals before, four last week. Four yep. last week. And I reckon they'll be expecting him to kick at least two or three today. Joe Watson uh, got through a fitness test yesterday on his ankle, averaging 25 disposals, four clearances a game this year. I reckon he could be their next captain. I think he could be too. I think he's been a wonderful player for them this year in Some close. Some happy Hawks there, Rob. Well, there's a lot of banners around the MCG, and you can see that innocent bump equals two, punch to the face equals naught. Shame, AFL, shame. Stakes couldn't be much higher today. Two teams that genuinely dislike each other Get set for an old-fashioned rip snorter. Welcome back to the MCG and Luke Hodge there just pulling at his groin and seeming to have a few problems in the warm-up. Called the doctor over. Uh, he has gone back into the middle with the team, so hopefully Luke Hodge is OK because there has been a real tough week for the Hawks. Now, there's a massive crowd in here and a big atmosphere, as always is, between these two sides. It's been pouring in Melbourne all morning. It seems to have gone away now, but uh, the ground is pretty slippery underfoot as the Hawks run out. The uh, Essendon fans were screaming out, no buddy, no Hawks. So we will see about that. Everyone's come to see this game down on the boundary. There is an Essendon scarf in the hands of Shane Warne. He's a big Saints man, not quite sure how, but he's young bloke. He goes for the Bombers. So I don't think Warney would be too happy about that. Now, they've also been filming Rush, the big cha Channel 10 hit show. There's Roger Corsa in the ground earlier on this morning. He is a big Hawks fan. But it is a wonderful atmosphere down here, a massive crowd. They're getting very excited. It's a great day to be down on the boundary. Welcome along. 
Michael Christian out of the Guru, Malcolm Blight. Good on you, Howie. Yes, looking forward to this, Malcolm. Hawks have got a pretty good record. Won six of the last seven against the Bombers. Who's going to win today? Yeah, no. Hi, Michael. And uh, hi, Mark, down there. Um, yeah, look, I actually favour the Bombers slightly. Just uh, the big outs, aren't they? The forward line's missing, really. So it should be a great game, though. I think it's, it's going to be a bit of this on. Robert Walsh thinks this might happen. Bit of niggle. Absolutely. Cyril Rioli, Henry Slattery with the job on him at the outset. And Dustin Fletcher loose in the Essendon defence. And loose at the other end is Bo Mustin for the Hawks. So, underway here, MCG for a place in the final series. Bailey wins it down. Dived on it. Desperate stuff in the centre of the ground. And, on the gee, he did dive on it. Paddy Riley off three. Let it go, Max. Time so, off. against Bailey. Stay out, Johnny. Stay out. Keep moving. Free kick to Patrick Ryder. Kicks towards half forward. Well done. Well done. Brown went best. Getting back. Right up. Off to Birchall. Kick has it got enough on it. Yes, so good mark. Go Over the top go of Jagel. So Hawthorne now looking to build their first attack of the afternoon. Kick wide. Dow of the target. Doesn't quite get to him. Chance for Fletcher at ground level. He's well tackled by Dow and forced over by Bailey. No, out on the floor. So, a free kick to the Bombers. Fletcher, Stanton, Prismal, off a step towards half forward. Gillum should have marked. So, the sign of the fist instead, but a boundary throw in between wing and half forward to the Bombers. And uh, Gillum picking up Nagel uh, and Lloyd being picked up at fullback by Sean Makers. It's a big challenge for the kid, uh, Malcolm, but uh, young Ryan Schoen has done a good job this year for Hawthorne playing key defence. Sewell fed it out. Fresh airy from Hodge. Spills now to McGlynn. That's a clever kick in board. Looking for Lewis. Couldn't quite find him. He attacks it pretty hard. Moss with his head over the football and we'll have a bounce in the middle as there's an injured Essendon player off the ball. Doesn't look all that flash. Even just looking Atkinson forward. and he's coming off. Yeah, just even just looking forward. It looks as though Rioli is playing virtually, as you guys might have suggested, both Robert and yourself, playing virtually full forward. Youngster, small. Murphy to Bateman. Not much on offer. Gets past Dyson pretty easily. And now kicks to half forward. And there's that man, Malcolm Blight was just talking about Rioli. Slavery, he's opponent. He takes him on, on the mark. Cyril, he gets another five. He gets another ten. He kicks for goal, but he kicks only the points. Just shows how dangerous he is, though. Took the overhead mark, backed himself to play on. I like that. Took the risk. Now, Lewis is playing forward, normally playing across the midfield. And Dell, as we've mentioned, uh, so those three looks as though they're going to be the key forwards yes. for the moment. And at the moment, Hodge playing in the midfield. Fletcher. Good look at what confronts him. He plays to himself and then kicks towards Hurley, who marks. Well played. Stanton, Hocking, back to Hurley. Across the ground. Monaghan working hard out in front of Murphy. Gets the opportunity and just lost his feet. Murphy did well. And again, the bomb is doing particularly well through pairs. Handball not great, though. And Murphy is able to intercept Mustin, Bateman. Now Savage from centre wing, back to Bart Mustard, who kept running. Kick just inside, attacking 50. Rioli's got to beat a couple here. What can he muster? In front of McPhee. Numbers win out, and McPhee off to Fletcher, and the Bombers out of trouble. And they worked out really nicely, McPhee. And now Prisma, who's having a pretty good season in his first one for the Bombers after coming from the Cats. Dyson to Lonigan. Kick smothered. Here's an opportunity for the Hawks. Osborne tries to work it for Fletcher. Beautifully done. Over to Watson. And I love it, Murray. Right in the middle of the MCG. Short one to McVeigh, who plays on straight away. Goes short to Monfries, and oh. he gets there. Well, Cyril Rioli, we see this a two against one, and uh, Essendon will be awake to the fact that they'll give space Hawthorne to Rioli. 
and players uh, like Fletcher in particular will get back to make life hard for him. No one better than Fletcher who reads the play so well to leave his direct opponent and to get back onto Cyril Rioli to help Slattery out. 23 goals, 12 this season for Angus Monfries. That's what confronts him. Just a point. It's going to be a bit of roulette, isn't it? If, if you leave Fletcher by himself, one in, well, he'll, he'll, he'll chop you up. I mean, he'll just keep getting the ball and doing well with it. No one reads it better. Mm. And uh, we're looking at it. I think Fletcher's playing on Osborne, but he's giving him 30 metres. Kick towards Bailey. He did well to spoil because the Bombers have got the numbers. Hocking. Well done by Show and Makers. Bailey's he... hurt off the ball, boys. Gee, let's hope he's okay. He's had a horrific run as Dowler kicks beyond the wing. Lewis, one on one inside the attacking 50. Osborne, that's a beautiful kick from Lewis. And Osborne with an opportunity from 45 metres. Kicks towards a vacant goal square. Oh, he's kicked through. The Hawthorne goal. Chance Bateman. Well, this is what we don't want to see. Let's hope it's not a knee. If it is, oh. it could be career over for Max Bailey, who's fought against all the odds to make a comeback. He played last week for the first time in three years after two knee reconstructions. Uh, let's hope for the best, but it doesn't look good as the Hawks go to attack again. Hodge only as far as Fletcher, who rebounds quickly to half forward. Good spoil from Birchall against Hurley, and we'll have a throw in. Well, they've got Renault who can help them in the ruck, but that is that is a sad sight. Let's desperately hope he's OK. At the centre bounce, that last centre bounce, without Bailey there, have a look at that. Luke Hodge said, I've got to do it. Not only did he do it, he won it. Throw in, red off in the ruck. And follows up his own work. They're getting their first is Shields. And they'll have a throw in. So terrible... Gee, a bit uh, flat after that. Hawks, yeah. Uh, it's the one thing... Uh, Everyone in football hates to see, as I said, such a great effort to get back after two knee recos. It was his left knee. He did have his right knee. knee. It was the one that was strapped. So as we get players converging on the ball. Threw yourself forward, mate. There's Fletcher, Thanks, and he's picked up Lewis at the moment. I've got Dowler in, uh, in the uh, virtually at full forward Dowler, and uh, Tate oh. Pears has got him. Tell you what, uh, Alistair oh. Clarkson will be thinking about. Who relieves Renouf in the ruck? If Bailey's gone for the game. Love it. Well tackled. So as Mitchell illegally says the umpire an advantage paid. So an opportunity here for McGlynn in space on centre wing. But a short option. He takes it up. Lewis in front of Fletcher. Oh, oh, oh that is really hard. Just on that Ruckman, right? Uh, Renault might, might have been the making of him, though. You know, like playing like Ryder, play for the whole game. Yes, it may well uh, gives him that opportunity. That bounce there by McGlynn shows you how slippery it is out there. And I reckon the slippery surface didn't help Bailey either when he came to ground. Okay. Quart Quartus and I were down there before the game. It is very slippery. Rained a lot in Melbourne this morning. Lewis, it's the post. Dustin Fletcher. There's, uh, he gets a let off. Uh, behind only to the Hawks. They lead by seven points. Early going in this big eliminator at the MCG. Fletcher decides to go the long option rider as his target as a runner gets in the way of Renoff. You ran straight through the two guys. So Richie Vandenberg, who's made his presence felt in this game before, has made his presence felt again, this time giving away another free kick. That's what well, happened last week too, didn't it? I mean... He really got in the way of his Hawthorne uh, Ruckman there, but anyway, it's a free kick to the Bombers as they work it to the 50. Gillum to Schoenmakers. And a little left one to half back. Kennedy spilt the beans. Coming through is Hocking, and he makes the most of the Hawthorne mistake.
Well, Max Bailey has already had two knee injuries and this is him going down in the opening minutes of the match, clutching the left knee straight off the ground and all sorts of trouble. I've been down to the rooms, the small medical area behind the bench. I hate to say it, but the doctors are playing with his left knee. Max is in tears, which is never a good sign. So as far as football tragedies go, I think this is right up there, Stephen. The big fella in tears with the doctors looking very glum. So terrible, terrible news for Max Bailey. That is so sad. Left of picture, McGlynn just tormenting Andrew Lovett. So McGlynn's got the tagging job on the dangerous Lovett. Play had stopped. Arm around his neck. Nice. So Renouf in the centre circle. Play on. Mitchell. That's a dangerous kick towards Savage. Couldn't quite control it, but he finds it at ground level. Well played off the mill. Now back to Mitchell, who kept going. Sam Mitchell, can he find a target? No. The feet at best. Playing in front of Lewis. Stay there. Play on! Now he's got Hooker running for him deep, but he decides to go short to Hockey. Who's got it in the back pocket for the Bombers. Careful kick is a poor one straight to Brown, who couldn't quite hang on. Savage does well to get it back to Brown. He jams it on the boot. Kick inside, attacking 50, and bravery shown by Michael Osborne running back with the flight. He's marked 30 metres from goal directly in front. Well... <laughs> Quarters and I were watching Michael Osborne in the warm-up. It didn't go too well, did he? We saw him have six <laughs> set shots for goal and he got one. <laughs> Is that a good or a bad thing, Malcolm? No, that's good. He's got his rubbish, <laughs> one. He's got his rubbish ones out of the yeah, way. Yeah, don't waste them in practice. <laughs> it's like getting a hole in one and no one watching you, Robert. Well, that's right. You've got to do it when it counts. Well, he's got 5-5 five, five from set shots for the season. Doesn't miss that. He was just tricking us. There's the uh, the captain, Sam Mitchell. He's at centre-half back. He often plays across the half-back line. They go back to him with short kicks and handballs, and then he sets up as they go forward. Andrew Welsh has got the run with roll on Mitchell. Ran off the tap. Hodge throws himself on the football. And Pike calls play on Birchall at the bottom of all that. Hodge has another go. Oh, players in there. Now it counts. Brent straight up. Brent, Hodgie up. Gary up. Straight up. Thanks, Joe. Got to throw it up here. Too wet, slippery. Get him up. Right up Play it on. goes. Ran off the tap again. Here's Watson Play in on. and under as always. He can't get it out. Ran off in there. This is where I'd actually like to see someone come over the top Thanks, of the ruck. Just build it forward Thanks, and have a couple of blokes ready to run. There's the Bounce captain, uh, Malcolm. Matty Lloyd played the first 12 minutes, didn't get a touch, oh, and they've that. taken him off. Hey, that's what you said. <laughs> you sound surprised, Rob. Well, well you, you could be a good coach. Great pick up by Kennedy, he goes half forward, Fletcher. Fists it away from Lewis, fall of the ball is Rioli. Got into his back, he plays on straight away, Cyril. He kicks into the pocket. No mark to Dowler, ball spills free, McGlynn. Will he attempt the soccer? No, the boundary line will beat him. Bit of pie play there, nothing in that. Yeah, just exactly what Malcolm said. Third man up in the wet, heavy conditions. Here's Renoff. He might have a crack himself, the big fella. And it's a sneak home for one point. So it's the Hawks 2-3, Essendon 1-1. The bad news for the Hawks is that Max Bailey appears to have seriously injured his knee again. And uh, he is off and out for the remainder of the match. Hawthorne by eight points. Fletcher at fullback. Dangerous kick. Oh, it came off. Watson was able to stand his ground and takes the mark. Just inside the feats of 50 for the Bombers. Coming off a disappointing last week against Fremantle. But still with an opportunity this afternoon to make the final eight. Winderlich. Not the greatest of kicks, but Hook it. Did very well. Now he's got a problem. Windelick again. Moore Watson took a high tackle. Andrew, you had to stop. So no advantage there. Gee, the Hawks are very much going one-on-one. -on -one. They're not playing uh, any zone. There's no Clarko's cluster out there. It's very much one-on-one -on -one football. Not much movement by the same token from the Bombers. Rob, as he kicks short, Watson finds Hockey. Thank you. Hold now. 
not really, you can see there, not really much movement from the Essendon forwards as he kicks high towards half forward. Love it, Murray up high, couldn't take the mark at the full Mitchell. Plenty of time. Moss, look out, gets it back, but they've turned it over. Good pressure from the Bombers, Stanton. Hurries it, Birchall. Played it brilliantly. Off to Murphy. Now it's with Milne, who carefully kicks towards half forward. The prisoner did well to take a one-hander. That's a good kick to half forward to Hurley. One of the rising star nominees for 2009. And what a future he's got. He bangs it long. Trouble here for the Hawks. Right up. Can't take the mark. But getting the spoils as Monfries and kicks an easy open goal. Just watch this again. His rider, watch his right hand, just cup it over the back. Takes talent and understanding of the game to do that. And it captures <laughs> very, very happy. <laughs> it was a super yeah. bit of play, Malcolm, yeah. that he did. Talking about super pieces of play. Hodge from 65 kicks. Goal. Offline. Dominating the clearances, the Hawks. 9-1 as far as the clearances go. And they're without their number one ruckman in Bailey. Have a look at this. And Hodge on the burst, love it, Murray, just a metre behind him, but not able to get a hand on him. Hodge, three clearances already. Mark taken by Watson from the slattery kick in. And that's not a great kick. Renoff doing well since he's uh, come on the ground. Gives it off to his captain. And Bailey puts it back, uh, Mitchell puts it back inside 50. But it's a good effort there from Slattery, just out muscled Rioli. It's a bit of a worry, Takes that, Rob, that Hawthorne are dominating those clearances and the scoreboard's pretty even. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great domination, isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, they haven't been able to get it on the board. Stanton to Watson. Squeezes the kick out. Love it, Murray. Slick hands back to Stanton. He's got a couple of options here. Dyson over the top. Good running football from the Bombers. This is Winderlich. He dishes it over the top as well. McVeigh into the pocket and finds Hurley. That was well worked by Essendon deep from defence. And uh, Hurley Gee. wants to give it off here. Uh, Hawthorne, midfielders, Hawthorne midfielders just didn't push back hard enough to help out. As each Essendon player took it from half back, they had an easy option. And uh, midfielders from the Hawks have just got to bust a bust of gut to get back there to help an undermanned back line. This kid's going to be a pity, Rob. Hurley. Oh, he, he will. He's impressed Malcolm at both ends of yeah. the ground. He hasn't played that many games this year. He's had injuries, but he just looks a natural. Yeah, I reckon he's got star written all over him. Gillum short to Mitchell. Gee, they're exciting, the Bombers, aren't they, when they move the ball so aggressively. Hard running. Mitchell short kick is marked by Mill. You know, lucky there, I reckon, Riley Mill, but. Keeps his composure. Off to McGlynn. Now a chance for Mustin. Had to backpedal. McGlynn provides some run. Ball slippery. Need to be clean here. Osborne wasn't an effective handball taken though by Savage. Back to Mustin who kept running. Looking for Silver. Well that McPhee charging from half back. Off to Lovett Murray. Not a great handball. And Hawthorne can get the footy back. Although desperate stuff from Munfries. Montfries is able to tie it up, up, so a bounce between Stand centre up, and wing. The Hawks leading by a couple Stand of points. Kicking efficiency, you can see Essendon dominating there, and as Malcolm said, the Hawks have had the bulk of the clearances, but they haven't been able to use it that well because the kicking's let them down as they've gone forward. Right of the tap, went straight to Kennedy. Got the handball over to Osman. Quick kick, but a two-on-one again. Plays right into Essendon's hands here. And an easy mark taken by Hocking. Gives it off to McPhee. And Essner away on the southern stand wing. A couple of peeled off. One of them is Winderlich. He's got Dyson running hard for him. He receives now. 70 from goal. Squares it up to Neal. Monfries again. His handball missed the target. He was under a fair bit of pressure, though. And mopped up again by Milne for the Hawks. He's been good, young Milne. Now over to Savage. Another youngster playing for the Hawks. No one inside 50. He bangs it long to a one-on-one. -on -one. Moss wrestles, but again, this is just playing into Essendon's hand. Hawks are going to have to bring the ball far more cleverly inside 50. As the Bombers' defence does it out of, uh, well, pretty easily in the end, out of defensive 50. Dyson, oh, not a great handball, although McGlynn overruns it. Chance for Lovett. 
shares it with McVeigh. Just the attacking side of the wing finds Stanton. Bombers looking good in the last few minutes. Stanton kicks to an open Ford 50. Well done, Shields. Couldn't quite control it though. Watson. Well done, Sewell. Good work also there from Shields. Mitchell. Mill. No. Look out, son. Oh, he gets lucky. He gets very lucky. Poor tackling by the Bombers. They had him on toast. And look at uh, free Clarkson kick. here with that uh, bad kick. Back to the middle that McPhee pinched. Wasn't very happy with it at all. Pressure mounting. It's not even quarter time yet. Big stakes for the coach from both teams this afternoon, particularly the Hawks who are defending their premiership. Backed off the ground by Atkinson. It is a slippery ball at the moment. Dyson just kicks it off the ground. It's a very effective kick into the forward pocket. Lloyd against Gillum. He slips over, keeps the footy alive, but not for long. In all fairness, I mean, the players haven't played in this sort of conditions for a while, so you, I'm just going to take them a good quarter, quarter and a half. Yeah, absolutely. It is really slippery, slippery out yeah. there. Have a look at that. Matty Lloyd goes to ground. That's his first disposal. Ryder out of the ruck. He's able to get it towards full forward. Nagel, what an opportunity here for him. Oh, he wanted too long. <laughs> Showing makers can mop up, although the tackle coming oh. is a superb one from Brent Stanton. And he's been Just rewarded with the free right. kick. What? Thanks, Rob. How, how long did he have to get rid of? Well, let's have a look at it, Malcolm. Here's he gathers. Just gathers. gathers Tackle. Come on. Well, he had a split second, but that was about another it. Two meters. Oh, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Bit harsh. That's it. I'm with you. A bit harsh. Good. So Brent standing here boat, boat. to put the bombers in front. Only 15 metres. Angle acute, though. Oh, he coolly pops it through. Bombers out by four points. Little powwow from the Essendon midfield. It's the Bombers now in front by four points. Justin Fletcher having a breather. Tate Pears coming on. Very small Hawthorne forward line. And this fella here, Renouf, he's going to have to do the ruck work with Max Bailey getting injured in the first few minutes of the game. Well, they banged it in the last few times, Rob, the Hawks into the forward line. That's not going to do the job, is it? No, they've got to uh, really be far more, more care in the way that they put it in. Good to see uh, Dowler in front. Took the mark as he kicks to Bateman. That's good delivery from Dowler. And Bateman could line up for goal about 45 metres out. Got to worry, uh, Essendon, and that is the clearances. And it's 11 to 2, and here's another one, all important, and a good one by Kennedy. It's quick on the boot, Dowler in front, importantly. He's able to uh, spot up a teammate, Bateman, inside the forward 50. Chance Bateman from 45, gets close to the man on the mark. And gets a point for his efforts. I think it's a worry, Rob, because Essendon can't play this badly and tight for the next three quarters. If they get on top, as we uh, look at some scenes from the Hawthorne dressing room. There's Max Bailey. So, standard from fullback. Gains 15 metres. McPhee confronted by Shields. Did well, or did he? Oh, he's in trouble now. Great pressure from the Hawks. Kennedy. Little fumble from Lewis. Shields does well again. Well done, Pears. Ooh. Perhaps a touch lucky, it was high. And Hawthorne applying some wonderful pressure in their Ford 50. What a year he's had. Tate Pears. Lonigan, not quite. Brown. Dave. Bateman. Now it's with Mitchell on centre where he's got Brown back inside. He uses him. Good run from behind by Birchall. Can he find a target? Well done, Pears again. Chance for a knock. Out wide, Saul. Hawthorne looking to build. Loose player in. The 450 is Dower. And he's marked 45 from goal. On a 45 degree angle. Have a shot, son. So, good work good from the Hawks. Just in the last three or four minutes, their pressure's been fantastic. Be nice if there's a Hawthorne player in the goal square. In fact, someone within 20 metres would be even handier, Rob. <laughs> As Dowler kicks from 48. Oh, they didn't need to worry. Dowler kicks the goal. Hawks back in front.
Four goals last week to Bowie Dowler. Kicks one in the first quarter here at the MCG to put the Hawks back in front by three points. Huge crowd here at the MCG for a Saturday afternoon game. Ryder, that's a beautiful tap to Watson. They won that clearance. As the Bombers work it inside 50, Hurley works his way to the front, couldn't take the mark. Here's Winderlich onto the left boot. Good snap to the tip of the goal square, Lloyd against Schoenmakers. Well, he's just had the one disposal, Matty Lloyd. Nagel's just had the one. The worry for Essendon with these two is uh, they're not super quick. They don't cover a lot of ground. Can you afford to have Lloyd and Nagel play alongside each other? Renoff trying to grab it out of the ruck. Here's Lloyd. That's a rush behind. So Murphy at full back. Oh, oh. gee. Courage of Bertrand. Let's go. Man, Hodge getting involved there. Yeah, just needs to be careful. Did he, did he actually hit it? Well, I don't know if he did, Malcolm. I just shut it because I thought he's going to get cleaned up here. Maybe the players, we see Atkinson coming in, and he's been gentle, hasn't he? He yeah. could have killed him. Hit the ball into his scone, so... So what's the 50 metres for? Oh, just oh, a oh, fraction oh, late. Hey, I reckon the umpire. Thank you. I'll just say... Moving on. They're, a bit, they're a little bit nervous, nervous the umpires. Yeah. I reckon but he's made a wrong decision there. So Bateman, Bateman on centre wing. They're starting to spot up each other a bit better, the Hawks. Osborne looking for some support. Provided by Mitchell, who off a step, kicks beautifully onto the chest of Rioli. Still inside the centre square, but he turns it. Oh, look at that. Lace out to Dowler. And Dowler with an opportunity for goal number two. He'll kick from just over 40 metres on a slight angle. You know, there's some players in this competition you love watching. Cyril Rioli's one, isn't he? You know the thing I like? Every time he gets the footy, he's actually thinking, where do I go to next, rather than worry. He always plays on. Exactly, I was going to say, he always thinks about yeah. what he's doing, but he's yeah. always playing on, creating opportunities for to the play, and this time it's with Bo Dowler to extend the Hawthorne lead. Beautiful kick. Watch out by eight. Two goals to Bo Dowler. Dustin Fletcher has a break. Paddy Ryder in the ruck against Brent Renoff, who's going to have to do the duties all day long now with the injury to Max Bailey. Hodge, another clearance for the Hawks. That's good hands by Birchall, who pumps it long inside 50. Dowler caught behind, fisted away by Pears. Here's Watson. Couldn't get a clear handball away. Bateman on hands and knees. Now Osborne has another crack at it. Fed it out to Birchall. Intercepted by Prismal. He's stripped of the football. Lewis bowled over. Almost a good pick up by Shields, who goes hard at it. The youngster, good pick up by Ryder. His handball couldn't find a teammate. Dude, it's a hot trying ball. to burst his way through as must, and it is a hot footy, Rob. As Lewis tried to get it out to Mitchell, oh, and it's an in-the-back free kick going to the Hawks. You couldn't fault the endeavour of no. the Hawks, Malcolm. No, They're having no. a real crack. Lewis to Mitchell, not a lot on offer here. Kicks to the pocket. And we'll have a throw in. Sam Mitchell's had nine disposals. Just playing that kick behind. Well, Andrew Andrew's well struggling, him, isn't he? He's really struggling to keep with him. Marks inside 50. Hawthorne five. They average 12 a game. So they've done exceptionally well. Ryder wins it out. Atkinson immediately tackled by Kennedy. And a bounce. Most of quarter time. Don't hold him. Good mini comeback this by the Hawks after they conceded the lead. But kick the last couple through Dowler. Gordon Renoff over the top. Lewis, great tackle, Atkinson. Oh, and he's in. rewarded. Took him on straight away. Straight away, thank you. That's it, quarter time. We're in for a big one here at the MCG. Hawthorne lead it by eight points. Great game of footy in the first quarter. It's Hawthorne 4-5, leading Essendon 3-3. Up for grabs is a spot in September. The grand final is just four weeks away. 12 to 4. And look at Scott Campriali, Rob Walls. He tore strips off the. Even got physical with the Essendon midfield at the first change. Yes, uh, I guess Scott <laughs> Campriali. He, he you can do, do the that block. now? You a, do it? No, you're not allowed to do that, Malcolm. <laughs> That's the Italian blood starting to boil. 
And uh, he's got good reason to be unhappy. They've been killed in the uh, clearances. The inside 50s, they're down. But the contested possession in the midfield, 22 to Hawthorne and only 11 to Essendon. And I reckon Scott Camperiali would be saying, boys, get some hard ball. Mark Howard, what's the news on Max Bailey? Well, Stephen, as we saw him go down in the first quarter, clutching his left knee, he's had two reconstructions on the right knee. This is in the first couple of minutes of the game. He went straight down to the rooms. He was in tears when he was talking to the doctor as they were prodding his left knee. I've just had another chat to the doctors, and they are saying at this stage, as far as they can tell, as he gets a kiss from his girlfriend, it is a severe knee strain. So possibly not terrible news at this stage. He's going to stay at the ground. They're going to review that at halftime. He may leave at halftime in an ambulance. Not exactly sure at this stage, but they're calling it a severe knee strain at this stage quarters. Some big names in the stand there for the Hawks as the Cats are doing it easily against the Fremantle Dockers. Paddy Ryder in the ruck and will be up against Brent Renoff who uh, as you said with the injury to Max Bailey will have uh, a very big afternoon ahead of him. And Cyril's given plenty of space inside the forward 50 for the Hawks. He's the only one inside the forward 50 for Hawthorne. The other Hawk forwards are outside. Second quarter underway. Ryder. Bateman pushed out of it by Atkinson. Loose footy. Watson. Always seems to be at the bottom of packs. Ball spills out. Dyson a little toe poke towards half forward. Chance for McPhee. Good clean pick up now. He's got a loose player inside the attacking 50, Monfries. He kicks quickly. Good commitment in front by Murphy. And that's great to see Murphy do that. He's been criticised this year for not going hard enough at times. Well done by young Tom Murphy to put his body on the line. Had to stand his ground. Short kick to Gillum. Come on. Mine's still inside. Shewan Makers. He's got a loose player over the top, uses him. Savage. Cuts in board. Back to Shoe and Makers. No pressure at the moment from the Bombers. Kick inside, attacking 50. Osborne and McVeigh. Mustard at the back with a chance. Gee, that was too easy, Rob. Yeah, and he angled it on the side of the boot, Malcolm. Yeah. Uh, now, I know that's what they do nowadays, but gee, I reckon he's had time to straighten up, a couple of steps, mm. drop, punt it. But the pressure from the Bombers right from the full-back line just non-existent. No, it wasn't. And, I, Robert, I know they practice it, but it's still a wrong kick. It's a low percentage shot at goal compared to kicking a straight ball. I agree with you, but I tell you what, I reckon uh, we're fighting a losing battle. <laughs> you know, and, and that, that, they'd be better kicks if they didn't, though. McVeigh for Essendon. As a loose player at half forward, it's Hurley, sets himself and takes a strong mark. Gets it moving quickly, out into space, looking for Neagle. Hawks had the numbers. Mitchell's no handball, missed the target. Welsh over to Watson. And that's a good kick inside 50, the mark's taken by Dyson. Clear it out now, Paddy. Sure uh, sorry, Malcolm, I'm not sure that Luke Hodge is moving all that freely. He looks like he's struggling. Struggling with a hammy or a groin. He uh, looks sore. Couldn't really give chase there in that contest. and. He's just pulled up a bit short here. He doesn't look uh, much good at the moment. Dyson from directly in front. Oh, he sprayed that badly. So, Virtual to Lewis. Lynn working in a space at half back for the Hawks. Mustard. So the Hawks trying to just find a way through this Essendon maze at the moment. That's a good kick to Brown. Back to Lewis. Short kick wide to Hodge. Just the attacking side of the wing. Good kick towards Rio. He's going to take on Slattery here. Now he played for the free kick. And the umpire saw it. Holding his arm. And you can just watch this. He tried to play for the free kick. See him holding his arm, trying to milk the free kick. What and the it? umpire was right yeah, on the money. No, no, it's 50 metres. And it's paid the free metres. kick. And now 50 against McGlynn. So, Hawks fans not happy. I just can't it's get fair enough, though, oh, yeah. No, it was a good decision, actually. A bit critical of a couple. Well, that was a beauty. Yeah. Love it, Murray. High to half forward. Ryder! No! 
Yeah. So Paddy Wright has pushed. It's a free kick. Oh, he signaled the wrong way initially. Pushed him. The umpire signaled the wrong way as though it was a Hawthorne free kick. No, no, it was a Changed his arm signal. Must and it was against Mustin for just pushing right up out of the away. way. Fair enough. Well, didn't have eyes for the ball, Mustin, there. That's there Mustin's problem, isn't Bodella. it? No eyes for the ball, think? so likely to be, likely to be penalised. Just saw Jay Nagel in picture. He's just had the one disposal. Needs to lift his output, or he may not be out there for much longer. Don't think they can keep Nagel and Lloyd on the ground together. 48 metres. Just missing. Just missing Paddy Ryder. He's been to in two forward movements, Ryder, and both times look really dangerous. I almost start to think perhaps he should be the only one there, Robert. Uh, I, I reckon because the other two boys, Lloyd and Nagel, at the moment are really struggling. Gillum goes up the middle and finds Lewis. Decides to go short. Gee, they play through Mitchell a lot quarters. Side step there, and the kick's good. Finds Dowler, quick release to Birchall. Inside 50, getting the sitters McGlynn, and he takes the mark, he plays on, and he kicks the goal. Great play, Hawks. There's Luke Hodge uh, moving very gingerly the last five minutes. There's Max Bailey, too, with that knee injury. Uh, some headaches for the Hawks, but at the moment they're in front by 13. And at centre bounces, they've got five players up on the line at centre half Jumping forward, the Hawks, on. and they're isolating one right back deep in the 50. At the moment, it's Osborne. Saul tackle. Up in and line. A bounce. You're right with that, Rob. Uh, McVeigh's picking it up. He hasn't hey, played full back a lot, McVeigh, so no. what they're doing is rotating players through there. And people are getting a bit uncomfortable playing full back. And it means that Fletcher's not deep in defence yeah. for Essendon where he likes to play. Chance for Savage. Did well to get the handball out. Mustin again. Wide. Now he's got to beat a couple here. Michael Osborne. McVeigh applies a bump and ball trick was over. So he did well there to get a 50 50 out of an out, un, outnumbered situation. So a boundary throw in. 48 metres around from the Hawthorne goal at half forward. Fletcher. That's fair. McGlynn. Yeah, off to love it. He's under pressure here. Dowler did well, and McPhee just trots it over and throw it in. Mark Howard. Stephen, we saw Luke Hyde struggling in the warm-up to the match. Now they're really working hard on his right groin on the boundary. So it looked like he tweaked it in the warm-up. You'd expect him to get out there. He's that type of player, but definitely not 100%. Hey, Little spiral from Fletcher from the back pocket. Dyson makes another 35 metres before it trickles over, so another boundary throw in. Rob Clarkson. Yep. What he's doing with that forward line rotation and all the smalls through there, that's fantastic coaching, isn't it? You've got no Ruffhead, you've got no Franklin, no Williams. He's just creating something out of nothing. Yeah, and they've had, had that one again. I didn't come in properly. He didn't throw Let's it in properly, Harry. so let's have another throw. But the Hawks have taken six marks inside their forward 50. They averaged 12 for the game with Buddy and Ruffhead. You've got to say that he's, he's really got them going, and uh, they're sharing the load. And as they go forward, they were scratchy early, the Hawks, but now they're trying to pinpoint... Good pick up by Lonigan. Gives it off to Pears. And he kicks to Hurley, who's gone up forward for the time being. Onto the left boot. Oh. It's a penetrating kick. It's a beautiful kick. It's bouncing. It might bounce through. There's Lloyd. Gets it over the shoulder. And he misses. Mm. Much to the delight of the Hawthorne fans behind the sticks there. Gee, it was a beautiful left footer from Hurley, wasn't it? It was effortless. Lewis. And Saul's got it at half back. You'd be Dad. disappointed with that, Matthew Lloyd. Normally kick that sort of goal off to Rioli. Into the path of show and makers. So Hawthorne here. Another big opportunity. Dowler wants it short. Great oh. kick and great mark. That is a great mark, Chris O, because the ball was coming at a million miles per hour and it's slippery and the ball just stuck. We'll have a look at it. And his arms, Rob, fully extended, so. Tough to mark, tough to make it stick in that situation. And the opponent was Dustin Fletcher. So the kid's done really well. Well, he's kicked a couple in the first quarter. This for his third to extend the Hawthorne. Lead. What a wonderful kicking action. Hawks out by three goals. Great mark, great finish, Bodala. He gets his third. Hodges back on. 
He's going up forward, being picked up by McPhee. So Matthew Knights finds his charges down by three goals. He's got to make some changes to his forward line, Matty Knights. He's got Hurley, Nagel and Lloyd. Top heavy in these conditions. Saul to McGlynn to Lewis, who pumps it long. Bateman. He was up against Atkinson. Didn't have the ball. Umpire said play on. And that is in the back. No, Just here. This is, this is smart coaching. Bateman's turn then to be one out in the square. Back, All of a sudden he's on a guy one nervous. Meter, meter. I mean, That's this it. is fantastic Wait stuff. So what sort of uh, the magic can Sura Rioli produce here? It'd have to be his very That's best, it. even Wait. for someone like Sura Rioli. He goes to Banana and he misses everything. There's the free kick against Slattery. Oh, Big clumsy mark. Yeah. Very. In that part of the ground, you can't afford to take a like that as Fletcher finds Welsh with a beautiful kick covered 50 metres. Back to Fletcher. Straight over the mark. Well, that's an awkward situation, Malcolm, no, where he's going to play and play yeah. on immediately. Yeah, so you're merely following the player. The umpire doesn't call play on, no, so technically. You've got to at least wait for the play on call. Yeah, there's the umpire explaining it, but it is a tough one. As Fletcher kicks towards half forward, Nagel in front, controls it very well. Gillum slipped over, so the bomber's a chance here, although it just took a long time to get rid of it. Prismal shrugs the tackle from Shields, gets it in board to Hocking, Welsh, now pairs. Now, now there's a. Just here. I think again, uh, no, Jordan against you too high. I think Jordan Free Lewis has uh, been unsociable. Bring it back. Well, and that's almost a disadvantage now for the Bombers because Welsh almost ran straight into Jordan Lewis's knee there, so he's a touch unlucky, Jordan Lewis. Okay, but it has penalised the Bombers because he, he doesn't get the uh, benefit of the doubt, Jordan Lewis, for some reason. <laughs> Hawthorne have got the numbers back. Kick towards Nagelup, couldn't take the mark. Soccer by Brown. Milne couldn't control it. Chance for Monfrey's taking a touch high. No, says the umpire. Bounce it 45 metres from the bomber goal. They need one. And I'll tell you what else Cawthorne aren't doing is going zone. They are going man on man yeah. and finding out if Essendon are any good at it. Well, that, Jordan Lewis had a fair argument there. He did absolutely nothing. It's interesting, Malcolm. They've gone man on man from the first bounce of the Hawks. Gone against the zone. One arm out is 70. Kyle Hooker. Oh, one arm out is I'd like, to, I'd like to see that again. No, that's just too rough and going at it, that, isn't it? That is a, a pathetic decision in the rough. That's just to show strength, yeah. Robert. That is, sure. a, that is amazing. Just just you put your arm out. Ruckman have been around. doing that for 100 years. You've got to just use it. your arms, just your just shoulders. Yeah, Free kicks 11 to 6 in favour yeah, of Essendon. Here we see that ruck contest. The arm across the chest, and no, the umpire dear. pings a free kick. That is a shocking decision, umpire Scotty McLaren. Scott McLaren. And, and he's usually a good umpire, Scotty McLaren. Angus Monfries lines up for goal. You didn't answer me, Quarters. Angus Monfries lines up for goal. He's got one. He kicks through the ball and he's missed. Hits the post. It's a bit, there's a bit of noise in this ground, isn't there? It's it's just starting to warm yeah, up, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's no, it's been good. Yeah. This is McGlynn. McGlynn's got the footy. He's playing on Andrew Lovett. Andrew Lovett hasn't had a kick and he's not working hard enough. He's just jogging around and the coach needs to get him off and give him a rocket. Let him go. Let him go. Shields takes it over. So there's Luke Hodge. Badly throw in. We'll just stop their run. Hawthorne have stopped the Bombers' run. And off does well this time. Pears has got it, but going nowhere. One. Now, Renoff has got a crook knee, and the ruck is the only ruck one they've got. Hypothetical, Rob. Who would you ruck next? Well, they might have to go down. Oh. The Lonigan to love it. Going nowhere. But I, I agree with you, Malcolm. It just gives Renoff a chance. He's going to carry the ruck by himself. They've had Robert Campbell. They've had Simon Taylor. They've had Max Bailey. They're all gone. They're not going to help him. He's got to do it by himself today. He does it again there. 
Lonigan, little toe poke, only as far as Hodge. Does well to stand up in the tackle off the mill now. Kicks to a vacant wing position. Rioli, let's just watch him do his work against Slattery. Oh, oh, you don't good. mind. And he kicks beautifully in board. Lewis, here's an opportunity. Lewis kicks to the goal square. Going back, Dowler's in a great spot. Can't take the mark. Fletcher fell over. Dowler back towards Moss. Was he held? No, says the umpire Fletcher to Atkinson. McPhee, oh, he's in all sorts. He's gone. I tell you what, this game has come a lot. Gee, the crowd right into it now. Bad mistake from McPhee there. Now, Malcolm Muston, we wouldn't mind him seeing angling the ball on the boot for this shot. I tell you what, that tackle from Muston was just absolutely copybook. And the kick matches the tackle. Hawks by 23 points. Talk about turning a player inside out. Watch Cyril Rioli on Slattery. He's yeah. just got some lovely steps, hasn't he? And he's uh, a couple of seconds later, Robbie rolled an ankle, Cyril, but uh, he's OK. He's on the ground. And they've isolated him up forward. They've always had the one forward with just about the whole 50 to himself. At the moment, it's Cyril. Well, Bombers desperately need the next one just to steady the ship. They're down by 23. They work it to half forward. The race is on here. Dyson has the leg speed to get past Milne. Kick smothered though. Mitchell under pressure gets it to Brown. To McGlynn, he's run down. He's gone. Great tackle by Lovett. Great closing speed. It's on the ball. No, Ricky, go away, go away, go away, go away. Campbell! I'm just thinking, you know, watching Campbell this, and you see this chase from here. Campbell. Fantastic. You know what I'd do? I'd almost copy Clarkson today if I was Matthew mm. Knights. Mm. I'd put the smalls just like he's doing. Isolate one out. Well, and even this bloke. Yeah, even it. that bloke, yeah. I because mean, he, he struggled yeah. in the midfield. That's his first tackle for the game. It was a beauty. And he hasn't had a kick. This will be his first kick for the game. And it is a must-kick goal for the Bombers. Love it. Should kick six points. And he does. Big goal for the Essendon team. Rob, I was just thinking... Do you ever coach in a game and copy what the other coach was doing? Yeah. 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 That's why, right, why not? Hey, it's worked really well. Yeah. Mark Howard well looks, looks, looks like Sir Rioli's got an ankle. Real concerns. Quarters out in the wing. He did that fancy footwork and just tweaked his left ankle. Add that Hodges right groin and back to Max Bailey out for the day. The Hawks have got some serious, serious concerns. Not even half time. Thanks, Howie. Love it, Murray. Tries to fend Mitchell away and he'll be pinned here. He Jim. did have an opportunity to get rid of it. And he Come didn't. Up, have a look at the intent of uh, Sewell. He gave a bad right hand put down uh, Hodge off the ball, boys. Bit of unsociable stuff from Essendon. Yeah, and it's going on. There's four or five players involved. The centre half ball for the Bombers. Meantime, Bateman towards Lewis. Good handball. Chance here for Moss. Moss can kick a goal, and he does. Quick reply for the Hawks. And Hodge Hodge went, back out to 23. Hodge went straight up to Ryder. <laughs> so the previous goal coming from Lovett broke a run of five Hawthorne goals, but the Hawks are quick to respond. Yeah, great work this from Lewis to get the handball into the path of Moss. So they've got the answers at the moment, the Hawks. Yeah, that what what took place just while they oh, 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 hello. Well, these two teams don't like each other and the tradition continues. Yeah, it's warming up quite nicely, isn't it, boys? <laughs> and Lovett Murray wants to kill. Won't worry, Sewell, he's as hard as nails. Sewell to Birchall, who pumps it long, wastes no time. That's a good mark, very good mark. Taken by Jared Atkinson. Off to Fletcher. Long ball in the direction of Hurley. Waits for it to bounce. Schoenmaker's hot on his heels. Hawks have the extra number. It was Birchall. Back to Schoenmaker's. And the ball goes over the line. No holding the ball, says umpire McLaren. Have, have a look at this. Have, 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 have a look at Hodge's chin. Oh.
All to half forward. Lloyd can't mark. Winderlich to Prismal. He's run down straight away by Shields. Lloyd did well back to Winderlich. Wobbly old left foot kick into the corridor. Renoff's there for the Hawks. Good handball to Bateman. Has got nothing on offer. Oh. Fowler got bowled over. Having another crack at it was Bateman. Great hard footy. Three off to Moss. He goes inside 50. But there's no Hawk up there. The troops getting there now. But it's all McPhee. Have to be clean on the left boot. Here he is. And the mark is taken by Hocking. Kicks to the wing. Beautiful kick to Stanton. He's got Watson on short, but he ignores him. They put uh, Andrew Lovett into the forward line. And Lodigan was free. And he takes the mark just outside 50. Squares it up. And it's a good kick. It's marked here by Prismal, who play on. And kick a poster. Gee, done a bit of that. That's uh, three posters today, two to the Bombers and one to the Hawks. So, kick comes in. Mark taken by Moss. Play on. Now Gillum. They had some opportunities, the Bombers. Wide to Hodge in front of Lovett Murray. So, how he told us a few moments ago, did spend some time being worked on. He's okay. Well done, Hocking, twisting away from Savage. He claims the mark, not paid. Saul, a terrific tackle. He just stripped him of the footy. Brad Saul drives it deep inside, attacking 50. Fletcher and Dowler. Well done by Fletcher. Now Atkinson. Little fumble, but he's got plenty of time. Frismal. Dancing. Needs to be clean here. Stanton and Mitchell. Ball to the back. So all Hawthorne. Good support inside is Mitchell. Moss. Shields. Renoff. <laughs> Gee, they go backwards to Mitchell a lot. Kick around the body by Mitchell is okay. Shields. So now Birchall. Beautiful kick from Birchall. And a great lead by Bateman. I watched him. He was in the forward pocket. And uh, Atkinson just not able to block his run. And he's just put the burners on. Here's the injury to Rioli, by the way. He just fell over his own feet. And tweak the ankle. Got some heavy strapping on that left ankle now, Stephen. They've just restrapped it, got the boot back on, and it won't be uh, long till he gets back out there. Just, just as folks manage to sort of, they found a new way to play the Hawks. He might have developed a new style here for himself. Well, through necessity, they've had to. Yeah. So, Bateman, to extend the lead further, that was never on target. So, back to 23 points. Conversely, it's been, it has been disappointing for Messon, hasn't it? They've been smashed in the clearances. Yeah, and, and, it, and, he, and he's been a bit reluctant to change his team. Been reluctant to change that forward yeah. setup for too long. Nagel and Let's Lloyd stay. and Hurley Thank were there. Play on, go. And uh, slippery conditions okay, out there. Right. Nagel kicks it into the middle. Brown was in the front posse. Little hook back by Brown, only as far as love it. Oh, that was brilliantly done by Monfries. Now a chance for Stanton. Should go. And he misses. She had two players. Top of the goal square is the left arm and some acknowledgement, but another wasted opportunity. Marks inside 50. Hawthorne certainly ahead on that count. Virtual now. Mitchell, disposal number 17. Gee, I don't know if that was 15. No, it's not, says the umpire Bateman. Back to Mitchell. No damage done. Kick to half four. The switch and kick and Hodge. Taking the mark. There's Kennedy. Ball with Hodge. Bends off Slattery. Didn't do it effectively. Renoff now. Osborne, 60 from goal. Renoff, well tackled by Slattery. Don't handball to Ruckman. Watson did well. Into the path of Lovett Murray. Murphy chops it off. Well done, Lovett Murray. Bombers need this clearance. McPhee does well. Monfries. Wide to Prismo. Kick towards half four. Not quite sure who that was for. Gillum does well off the Bateman. Oh, Gillum rolled the dice there and it paid handsome dividends. He backed himself and won the ball back for the Hawks. As they work it into the middle. Milne. 
Off to Kennedy. Awkward kick inside 50. Out in front of Lewis. He's pushed off the ball. He has another crack at it. But Welsh wins out. Good effort. Now Hocking's in there. He's wrapped up by Lewis. Gee. will bounce. He goes hard, Hocking. Let go, let go, let go. Let go now. Sam Mitchell just having a ripper game. 19 disposals. 11 handball receives across the half-back line. Fletcher. Clears the danger zone for the moment. And a little fumble there for Mitchell. Bounty throw it. Nagel back on. 22 points. Hawthorne looking to sneak into the eight. Great fend off from Birchall. Mitchell again. Go to Birchall. Him all the time to Mitchell. Milne. Bateman not making too much headway, but it goes back, and the mark's taken by Gillum. So he has a bounce and steadies, and it's a clever kick to Murphy. He kept on running. He just throws it on the left boot and hopes for the best. Rioli overran it. Essendon had the numbers deep. Fletcher. Slattery shoot Shepherd. Does just in the nick of time. Fletcher's kick wasn't great to pairs. Osborne attacked it hard. Kept the football alive. Back to Murphy. Handballs to Bateman. Bateman kicks it into the corridor. Looks for Kennedy and takes a very good mark overhead. Now this man is gold shy. Will he kick it, Rob? He's got to have a kick. I reckon every teammate will say, for God's sake, go back and just have if, a shot. If, if he doesn't, miss he, it. if he doesn't, his dad will kill him. He, exactly. I tell you, the work there, Slattery had a great opportunity to apply a great shepherd and give Fletcher more time, but he didn't really do a good job of it, and Fletcher was under pressure. Turned it over. Kennedy, in he comes, and he has put it through. The Hawks lead by 28. I would think Matthew Knights at half time is he's never done it before, Robert. This seam is going to get the biggest rocket you've ever seen. This is absolutely poor, very poor from Essendon. Kyle Hooker in the no. rack to relieve Ryder. Toe pokes it forward. Muston, little fumble. Oh, he almost scoops it up. In fact, the umpire said exactly that. Advantage to Lovett Murray. Stanton. Now, can he give it back? He can. Lovett Murray from 25. Kicks the goal. And Michael, down and dirty mm. in some games of footy doesn't mean you just got to win the hard ball, don't you? You've got to put your head over it. He'd be very, very angry, this bloke. Important that they got that last clearance. The Bombers yeah, need time. to get another one. Time for another one here for Essendon. Two late goals and bring them right back into the contest. But Birchall, great mark. Off to Lewis. Now Sewell. Chips in the Osborne direction. McPhee snapping at his heels. Osborne goes for soccer. McPhee desperate. Great stuff. Almost could have got a free kick there, the bomber. Shit again in hard. They are. Lewis tries to bash his way through the pack. Handles out in the space. Osborne, little soccer off the ground. And it's 50 metres out from the Hawks goal. Finals four years come a week early to the MCG. It's the Hawks by 22 as we near half time. The Great winner in. plays in September. Great interception there by Birchall. Renoff in the front posse. He's wrecked well, quarters. To Saul. Gets driven into the turf by Pears with a ripping tackle. And a bounce. Cyril Rioli again. He's got a Thanks. lot of forward space to himself. Thanks. Essendon Thanks. players Thanks. very wary of him. Dropping back, putting the squeeze on him. Gonna try and hold on the Bombers. Hocking. Stanton under pressure around the body. Savage couldn't control it. Love it. Overruns it. Savage. Renoff. Now a chance for Sewell. Good pressure coming from Watson. And what's he gonna do? Free kick to Watson. Free kick to Watson. Drag it in. Let him go, Sully on 50. Time off. Play on. So you're going to run out of time, unfortunately, for the Bombers. Half time. 9 7 plays, 5 9. The Hawks go in with a 22 point advantage. Yeah, and a well earned 22 point advantage as well. Uh, just to repeat it, but the Bombers need some work, and they need some words. They haven't, they have, in a most important game of this young team's life, with all those players out for Hawthorne. This has been a very disappointing half. 
Conversely, the Hawks have been good. Bailey earlier on, this is him leaving the ground at half time. And Adam Ramanaskis came over and just had a bit of a chat to him, gave him a tap on the back and said, Keep your head up, young fella. So hopefully it's not as bad as seems from Max Bailey. Starting to pick up a breeze down here on the ground and maybe a little bit more rain also in the second half. So the big question is, boys, whether the Hawks can hold on to this lead or whether they can get enough run off a three man bench. Thanks, mate. Well, we know the battles Adam Ramanaskis faced when he was uh, on, the, on the footy field. So that's just about the best thing I've seen all year, that shot. Lovely. Yeah. No, that's good, isn't it? Very. Yeah, that, look, look, there's no doubt. That, I mean, players have sympathy for what, you know, play, other players have to go through, particularly with serious injuries. They do. And uh, Adam Ramanaskis, one of nature's gentlemen. Well, it, it'll be interesting to see what the uh, Bombers do. I, I reckon the first three or four minutes will get a, a real feel for whether they're going to dig in and have a crack at it, because uh, no doubt... They'd be disappointed with the first half. They've had time to talk to the coaches. The coaches uh, would have been giving plenty of instruction. Have they got the strength, this young Essendon team, to take it on board and really plough through Hawthorne? Because it's conditions where the ball's on the ground, it's slippery. They like an open, free-flowing game, the Bombers. It hasn't been that way in the first half. Are they able to dig deep and win some contested footy? Well, Rob, I can say that uh, Nagel, Lloyd and Hurley are still on the forward line. OK, well, we'll know the answer soon enough, Rob. Third quarter underway. Hawks by 22. Chance for McVeigh. Gains about five metres. Oh. Sewell hit hard by Lloyd. And Sewell is out. And they're they're going to be angry. Oh, here we go. They are going to be angry, the Hawks. The they are Hodge, angry. Hodge and Lloyd. Osborne coming over Mitchell, the top. The and I tell you what, Matty Lloyd, the you're the target. Um, you can't hit a bloke in the head. We found out last week with uh, Buddy Franklin. Well, this is this seems uh, this seems far more serious. Saul has not moved. Stretch has been called for. Umpire's got to stop play, surely. Stop the game. Stop the game, umpire. Wake up to yourself. This is a very serious injury. He's not moved, Saul. And Matthew Lloyd is in a lot of trouble as Campbell Brown's caught late. I tell you what, Matthew Lloyd will be lucky to get through this game the way the Hawks are looking at the moment. Campbell Brown really got the staggers two quarters. He is really struggling to start his feet. Well, someone's whacked him in the head. Well, Brad Sewell's the worry, and he's as tough as they come, Brad Sewell. Eyes for the footy, and he's been cleaned up by Matthew Lloyd. Oh, and look at Campbell Brown has pointed to the Essendon box. He's come off with blood over his face. He's pointed to the Essendon box. Mark, how did you see, uh, hear what he said? Uh, just gave them a massive spray. That's not on, that's not on, that's not on, is what Campbell Brown's saying. Absolutely spraying everyone from Essendon. Real feeling out there, quarters. Oh, well, there is. I'll what they've what. got to do, Hawthorne, as upset as they are, and here we're we going to look at it here. Well... I would say that's contact to the head. Well, well I don't just know. I mean, maybe it was Paddy Ryder. Yeah, have, have a look at his head go. Oh, no, it was Lloyd. Yeah, no, that it was is contact Lloyd. to the head. No, and it was definitely the Lloyd contact that got him. Well, you saw what oh, happened last geez. week. And there's Campbell Brown with blood streaming out, obviously, and had to go to the Essendon box and said, boys, get set for a big one hour coming up. But the problem for Hawthorne is that Sewell is one of their spiritual leaders. He's played really well in that first half. 11 disposals, a lot of clearances where they were dominating. So he'll be sorely missed. They've got two players short now in, the, uh, in this modern age of interchanges. And you can see the hit. It looks was like definitely the Lloyd contact. Looks like he's got him on the chin. Well, that didn't help, did it? He was out and then his head hit the ground as well. He ricochets, his head ricochets into the right shoulder and then his head hits the ground as well. He was, out, be he was out before I, he hit the I, ground. I agree, Rob. Now, the big question here, Malcolm and Rob, is that it's going to be the team that keeps its eye on the ball because the next five minutes are going to be pretty hairy. You're right, and I reckon the other thing is the Hawks are two players down. Matthew Knights has to rotate and run. He's 22 against... Hawthorne's 20. He's got to make more moves than were made in the first half. He can't afford to keep a slow forward line with Lloyd, Hurley and Nagel. And, uh, yeah, it's a real challenge now to both teams to see how they stand up after this. Rob, uh, I mean, it was, yeah, it wasn't a good one. There's no doubt about that. Uh, intentional or not, it happened. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Lloyd 
Bombers behind. Just trying to decide whether he plays again. Could could this be it for Matthew Lloyd? Oh, it's, it's a tough call. Uh, I reckon Matthew Lloyd is unsure of his place at Essendon anyway. He hasn't been played where he would like to play, which is full forward, where he should play. I reckon the Hawthorne supporters will be absolutely incensed by what's happened there. Just hearing them behind me, Wolsey, incensed is one word. I can't tell you what they're saying, but the Essendon boys running past on the bench are getting an absolute spray, and uh, Adam Ravanaska is actually having a bit of a chuckle. They are really copying it. <laughs> he doesn't have to go out there. But we, we don't want that in the game. No, we don't. We don't. I said when they bounce the ball to start this third quarter, the Essendon players would be wound up. Well, and I reckon they wound up all right. And the umpires, it is really important that the umpires get control of this game now. We have got one hot game of footy. Hold on to your hats. Ryder wins it down. Oh, gee, Fletcher came through hard and took out Hodge. Yeah. Hodge comes in and takes down McVeigh. And it's on again. Tell you what, umpire McLaren just got to get on with it, and he does. He just throws the ball up. One by Ryder. Chance for Kennedy. Mitchell. McVeigh dealt with off the ball. McGlynn. Again, backwards to Mitchell. And good disposal by the skipper. So Ben McGlynn. It's a real test for Matthew Lloyd too because he knows they'll be after him from here on in. Matthew not, Lloyd. Not yep. a nice feeling that. Here's McGlynn to extend the Hawthorne lead. He misses badly. Rob, uh, have you had that feeling in a game where well, you thought someone might have been I, uh, a bit I, hot on you? I feared for my life one day out at Waverley against Collingwood when uh, I knocked Peter Reekins out and the other magpies all said they were going to kill me. McGlynn has another ping at goal and is offline again. And they tried very hard to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did enough going up on a, you went out on a stretch of day, Rob, didn't you, by the end of the game? Did you get stretched off that game? I got stretched off against North Melbourne when Snake Baker got me. Oh, OK. Essendon worked with the wing. Beautiful kick. Lovett couldn't take the mark, but he's still got possession. Manages to get past Hodge. Keeps the footy alive to half forward. That's a free kick to Essendon, surely it is. Advantage paid. McVeigh inside 50. Nagel can't get there. Well done by Gillum. Too good for Nagel on that occasion. Now Birchall, as McVeigh has a look around at Gillum and says, watch what you're doing. We think McVeigh like the treatment there from Gillum. In the meantime, Shields, the youngster, is penalised for holding the ball. No doubt about that one. Shit, there's a crowd here. Now, now have a look at here. This has just left the screen. Campbell Brown. And you can only, well, there's Andrew Lovett grabbing, no, Lovett Murray, I think it is, grabbing his eye, but Campbell Brown obviously not happy with blood coming from his left eye. Well, pound for pound. Going Nathan, back to Lovett Murray as well. Pound for pound, he's just about the best going around in the AFL at the moment, Lovett Murray with his fists. Well, <laughs> look who's just marked off to Lovett from 15. He's kicked it, I think. Bombers are back in town. Lovett Murray involved. We were just showing the replay of the incident with Brown. He stood up, has taken the mark, fed it off to Lovett. And all of a sudden, we're back to 18 points. And Matthew Lloyd, also involved. There's the, there's the prismal kick. And Lovett Murray. Fantastic stuff by the Bombers. Down to Howie. Looks like the Hawks have only got one on the bench. Osborne at the moment with those two injuries, Sewell and Bailey, and I reckon Campbell Brown might be getting stitched up, so one on the bench. I think Campbell Brown would be fairly eager to get out there, boys. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. This is a bit of a worry. McGlynn playing on Lovett Murray. Oh. Lovett Murray's too tall. Ran off beautifully to Hodge, oh, but he lost a handle on it. Ryder with the handball, it was ineffective. Virtual, good smother by Prismal, knocked it forward. McVeigh gets bowled over, but the Bombers have got a bit of a sniff here. Prismal, centering kick towards Nigo! He's got one at last, Malcolm. Yeah, well, I mean, he's, he's trusted him. He stayed with him, so 
Good kick, Prismal. Yeah, it was a great kick, wasn't it? Campbell Brown, he's back up on the bench. He's got his eye patched up. He's giving them the thumbs up. He wants to get out there. Oh, we'll be getting in his way. Well, he's got to be smart about it. I wonder what that message is. The message is, don't give away free kicks. Keep your head. We Keep know your you're composure. angry, but don't give away free kicks. Jay Neagle. Must kick goal for him for his confidence. It is a goal. The Bombers are fighting back at the MCG. Campbell Brown back on. This crowd is now massive at the MCG. You Paul. should have seen him, quarters, pumping himself up before he came on the ground. He was slapping his arms like a wrestler. <laughs> oh, dear. Ryder against Renoff. Renoff got one in the ribs from Ryder, and he's not too well. Oh. Just sucking in air, Fine. trying to find it. Stand up, thank you. Thanks. Angus Monfrey saying, why me? Another bounce in the middle. Ryder just smashes it forward. Good to see. Monfries attacks it against Brown. Handball over to Hocking. Here come the Bombers again. Stanton for another one. He's missed it. Gee, it was all set up there for Brent Stanton, but it was a bad kick. Look at Campbell Brown. He wants to get on and listen to the Hawthorne fans roar. Kick comes in, mark taken by Showenmakers. 11 points in it, 22 at half time. Bombers have got the numbers here. McPhee off to Fletcher, a little too fierce. Fletcher a little fumble. He's got McPhee in support now over the top to Ryder. So the Bombers, another opportunity. Oh, gee, poor kick from Paddy Ryder. Show and makers, then he missed the oncoming tackle. So big chance here for the Hawks. This kick wasn't great. And well done, Pears chopping across, taking a punt. And we're going to boundary throw in between wing and half forward for the Hawks. It's a huge out, Sir, wasn't it? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it, it well, it's, a, it's a huge out. He's the uh, he's the guy who gets the clearances. Yeah. He and he and Mitchell and Hodge in close. They're uh, terrific players. Next time Matthew Lloyd touches the footy, oh, the crowd oh, will Hodge, go off their oh, head. Hodge, oh, yeah, free kick to Hodge, paid by umpire McLaren, who wasn't the officiating umpire. What did he spit out then? No, his teeth look all to be intact, so... Can you take the kick? Okay, Matt, just... Oh, he caught one from Lonigan. Stay there. Might have caught one in the throat. So, Hodge with the free kick. Osmond just on the ground to replace Bateman's got it. And half four, beautiful kick to Moss. It was a great kick by Osmond on the left boot, Chris, as you call. Wolsey Campbell-Brown just having a chat to Matty Lloyd as we speak up in the uh, centre of the ground. Well, Matty Lloyd is only human, and he would be very, very nervous. If he's not, he's crazy. So here's Gary Moss to give them some respite. Oh, damn me. Oh, gee, McPhee put down. No one saw another, another look at the Lonigan one, boys, on Hodge. Well, Hodge put a hand in the face of Lonigan, and Lonigan gave him one back. Yeah, tit for tat. Yep. So Fletcher, long ball to half back on the members' side. McPhee squeezes the kick out. Here's Lloyd. Well, that's just silly from Shane Baker. That's mean, stupidity. That is stupidity from the show makers. Easy, you've got the three. Just gave him free kick away for nothing. Yeah, just not the way to go about it. As Matthew Lloyd puts it inside 50. Big pack fly. Here's Stanton against Brown. Good tackle by Brown. Love it. Knocked it out to Monfries. Now love it again. Straightens up on the right. Has a ping at the goals. It's in the goal square. It's a mark to love it, Murray. Well, love it, love it, Murray have lifted, no doubt about that. And it stems from that recklessness yeah. by show and makers, and that's where the young man has got to have a cool head. Just immaturity there, Rob. Yeah, and Great what a mark. terrific mark by Love It Murray. Terrific Thanks, mark. It's two. So Nathan Love It Murray to make it a five-point ball game. To within five points, and this was a free kick against Showenmakers on Lloyd. I mean, just ridiculous. 
Mark Howard. Still no sign of Brad Sewell after he was carried off on the stretcher. So with Bailey and Sewell out, the Hawks have still got two on the bench. Sewell hasn't been sighted, still thanks, in the rooms. Thanks, Howie. Shields couldn't control it. Coming up to meet it. McGlynn, he's tackled by it. Love it. Now Welsh. Just to McVay. Kick inside, attacking 50. Chance here at the back for Nagel. Keeps his feet, needs to. Now he dives in on top of it. Hawthorne do well to tie it up. Bounce 15 metres from Thank the bottom you. goal. Three goals in this third quarter, and the Essendon fans are fighting voice at the MCG. Ben McLean, don't hold it. Renoff, Winderlich. Love it, Mark. Uh, love it's got to be three. You can't. Bambi throwing deep in the right forward pocket. Yeah, just to say about Sewell, too. I, I did Sewell's see his hands in, moving, Rob. I mean, he looked. Mm. He, he, is, is he regained conscious? Did everyone agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. But he, if he was able to get back on the ground, Malcolm, I don't think he will, but if he came back on, imagine the roar. McGlynn overran it. Socket off the ground by Ryder. Misses. Five times this quarter they've gone into their forward 50, Essendon, and uh, they've kicked three goals, two. So the, uh, the Hawthorne defence is under siege at the moment. My own. Milne. It's to the wing. Just it away by Hooker. Mitchell has a fresh airy. Rioli working hard. Overran it. Back to Hooker. Beautifully weighted handball over to Prismal. Prismal kicks towards goal. Lloyd and Sean Makers. It's off hands and it's a point. That's what is ahead of Gillen. Short to Mitchell. Thank you. Stay there. Got a wide option in Muskin yeah, decides to go beyond that to Murphy, who marks it half back. Right there, mate. It's a great kick, Mitchell. I know it's a terrific handball, but isn't he a lovely kick? Left or right foot. It's, it's a better great. kick than most people give him credit yeah. for. Yeah. Stay there. Nice kick from Murphy to Dow. He kicked three goals in the opening half. Now he's kicking in front of Rioli, who leaps and marks, and brought down by Slattery. Play on now as Rioli kicks inside, attacking 50. Beautiful kick, put the kick to Osborne, who kicks towards the goal square and the mark taken. Hodge. Hodge. Hodge has, since he uh, got knocked around a little bit, Hodge has played in the forward line. And Fletch has been his opponent, but uh, Cyril Rioli and Hodge, they have to have dynamite second halves, along with Mitchell, if they're going to win this game. Great transference of play. And again, it's from a Hawthorne kick-in. They've taken it the length of the ground on five occasions. Quite remarkable, Rob. Matthew Knights won't be happy with that, but Cyril Rioli setting them alight on that occasion. So Hodge now to give them some breathing space. Should kick it. Luke Hodge pops it through. Hawks by nine. Going to go up in the ruck here. They've got four smalls. It's amazing. I isn't think it? Renoff just needed a rest, so Hodge is going to contest the ruck well, against Ryder. He, he, had, <laughs> he cleared it last time he did it. Not this time. Ryder taps it to Play Watson. Ineffective kick. Lewis to Rioli. Oh. Look at oh. the acceleration from Sue Rioli. And Clever. a clever little chip kick over the top to Osborne. He wants to get it moving quickly. Cleverly does so now. Savage and Rioli kept on running. He did quarters. That is magnificent gut-busting running from Surioli, who will have a shot at goal. And how inspiring to have Luke Hodge go up at the centre bounce. If that doesn't lift you out there, Malcolm, nothing would. Uh, how good's this play? Matthew Lloyd off. That's the booing. Well, Matthew Lloyd's got a lot on his mind. We'll talk about it in a minute. Surioli, tight angle. It's the Hawks by nine points. And that's nothing. So a bad miss from Surioli. Who, with all his great skills, is not the best set shot at goal. Oh, I just... I don't know how he just... I, I keep saying it. Move in quickly like he kicks a normal play. Hurley does well to provide a contest. Mustin did well. Not a great kick towards half foot. Osborne, little paddle to Hodge. What effective. Standing out of love at Murray. Slattery, oh gee, Watson put him under the pump, but he got it to pairs, and now they're out of trouble for the moment. Hocking from midfield, 
drives it deep and long. At the back, Lonigan provides a contest. He hit the ground. Chance. Oh, Gillum gets there first. Great tackle from Lonigan. What's the umpy going to do here? He decides to bounce it. Straight up. He let him go. The Jason, let him go. Jason, you're not involved. Jason, move away. Grant, move away. No, but wants move to get up the footy, Michael. And no. Angus Mumphreys. Thank you, Angus. Not for the first time. Ends up with it. Brown not happy. <laughs> I don't, think, I don't think they like each other. <laughs> Ryder against Hodge. Chance for Hodge who did his own roving. Uh, this is amazing. Hodge doing the ruck work. This is just incredible. All right, we'll see how he goes at the boundary throw in. Well, Renoub's having a spell. Matty Lloyd on the bench there. I reckon he's got a heap of things going through his mind. He knows the opposition want to kill him. He knows the game's in the balance. He'd be worried about the injury to Brad Sewell. Hodge tapped to Mitchell, back to Hodge, now to Lewis from centre wing, kick to centre half forward, foot race. Well worked by Dyson, then he needs to keep his feet, he's taking it out, sure. And advantage called as Lonigan gets it to Hocking, now to Stanton, and the Bombers can build. Stanton kicks along the line, and it's a beautiful pass to Monfries, he's got Hurley on in the pocket, and Hurley will take the mark. The other worry for Lloyd, of course, is that he'd be, uh, he'd be saying, I reckon my season might be over. I don't think I'll play again anymore, because I reckon he'll be suspended. So Hurley, he'll have to play next year, Rob, because we don't want to remember his last game like this, do we? That's right. Hurley, very difficult kick. He's made a pretty good fist of it. It's a goal. Four goal to one quarter. This is uh, Brad Sewell getting hit by Matthew Lloyd, knocking him out. And that was at the opening bounce of the uh, third quarter. There are two players down the Hawks, no Bailey and no Sewell. And Matthew Lloyd with a heap on his mind. Mitchell, quick kick to half forward. McQueen in the way for the Bombers. Looping handball is OK. Stanton back to McQueen. Oh, gee, what was that? I don't know what he tried to do. But a chance here for Moss, who's got time. He's got space. Runs to 20 and kicks. And behind. Dear me. Not quite sure what McQueen was trying to do there. Let's have a look at it. Well, he called for it when he shouldn't have. That's what happened. Gee, it was a bad miss by Moss, too. Well, he had a right footer running alongside him. Lloyd's oh, yeah. running yeah. around the boundary line. I'd stay in the dugout, Matty, if I was you. He's running around the boundary line, and the Hawks are giving him everything. <laughs> Hawk fans. Uh, he's big enough to stand up to that, Rob. Well, let's go to the corridor. Hocking. Oh, Sirianni gets there. Now, can he go all the way? He backs himself. He breaks one tackle. He gives it off to Bateman, who drills the ball along the ground. For a goal! Sirianni. In these stars, Rob, and these other stars, but he, he is a superstar. Well, yeah. the interception, oh, yeah. the interception, Malcolm, was just amazing. And then the share, he could have tried to uh, have gone all the way by himself. He's not like that. See, that's the difference. He was the right footer. He knew Chance Bateman. Should have got it before the last one from Moss. Yeah. I was a left footer running into trouble. Lovely team. Margin back to 10. Matthew Lloyd back on. What a goal by Hawthorne. And the experienced Gillum playing on Lloyd, not the kid Sean makers. Lewis, handball, chopped off by Lovett Murray. Hooker, Osborne fighting hard for it. Hodge off the ground for a spell. Thank you. Campbell Brown at half back. Got Cyril Rioli by himself up forward, the Hawks. Good move. Chance for Watson. Pulled off the footy. Hocking had his head down and was hit. Give it to him, Sam. So, free kick. Four to the centre. Stanton. Now Pears, too far out to score, wants to take on Mustard, then Hamble White to Stanton, who runs to 35, kicks across the face, and Hurley! Oh, Hurley's 
kick the beauty. Can play. Michael Hurley. Well, Daniel Rich is the red hot favourite for the Rising Star, but I tell you what. You wouldn't be disappointed if uh, he got it either, Malcolm. No, no, there's, there's two or three of them, isn't there, really? He can seriously play. Five foot eight, wrapped up eventually. Thank you. Free kick count, by the way. 20 to 11 in favour of the Bombers. Again, Rioli, three in the forward 50. Oh, he's got an opponent, but the only one there. Clearances, 25 to 18 in favour of the Hawks. Tackles pretty much even, 47 to 43 in favour of Hawthorne. Oh, she. has been good hopping in this quarter. Starting to find the footy, that was a bit stiff. Chance Bateman's away, ran his full measure, had a bounce. Just got the kick in the nick of time into the pocket. And we'll have a throw in, and everyone will take a deep breath as we near three-quarter time. Campbell Brown, angry man. There's a slap. <laughs> Can't punch him, but I know I can get away with a slap. Good slap. Well, it was just a fly on his arm, wasn't it? Well. Trying to break through his shields to McGlynn, who lost it. Oh, head high contact there, surely. Scotty McLaren oh, put the whistle to the mouth and pulled it away. Firing. He gave a free kick a couple of minutes ago for the same thing. Head over the ball. That's... Ben. Anyway, perplexing. Ben. Shields can't break a hole through the pack. Prismal had a good afternoon. Caught with a footy. Umpire calling play on. Ball again is the uh, yell from the crowd. Umpire letting it go. McGlynn goes in hard. Good tackle. McPhee. Fletcher wraps him up and we'll have a bounce. Good Shoot. footy from both teams. Hey, quarters, <laughs> anyone who reckons footy shot, just have a look at the last 15 seconds there. Hawks by four points. Deep in their attacking zone. Fletcher straight to McLean, oh. taken high. Surely a free kick that time. Uh, oh, dear me. That's a free kick, all right. Have a look, look at Jeff. Jeff. He can't believe it. Surely that was a high tackle. Well, right now, I'm Pine McLaren's having a shocker. McPhee. Standing. Oh, gee, put McBay under the pump. He's well tackled. No quite opportunity there. He dropped it there. Osborne. Good tackle by Standen. Tying it up. Get a bounce. Scotty. Jeff Kennett absolutely off his head. He was unhappy all through the week. <laughs> you reckon it doesn't mean something to him? Well done, Dower over the top. Shields. Rioli, he's got his head down. Little toe poke forward. Oh, McPhee tried to stop it. Don't know that that was the right option. Moss got a loose player in the pocket. McGlynn. Can he shrug a couple of tackles? He can't. McVeigh will just take it over. Boundary throw in in the fourth pocket. Scott McLaren, locked in there for a couple of minutes. Yep. Scott McLaren needs support. Just get out of the way and another umpire get in there. Throw in. Nicely snaffled there by Atkinson. What are they going to do here? Rioli lays the tackle. Pears is gone. No, just got rid of the ball in the nick of time to slattery. Oh, the Bombers are under pressure here. And in them, they've worked it terrifically well to get out of trouble. Now, can they hurt the Hawks on the rebound? Lovett's handball is a straight and hides with brute strength. Got the Hawks back into the contest. He's bowled over by Lovett Murray. And now lays a tackle. Great stuff again. And oh. a free kick. Oh, that's red hot. Tell you what, the umpire's having an ordinary dive. Stand up, please. The dive done it, got him up and clear. Time off. So, free kick to Luke Hodge. Stakes are high. Oh. Players playing for everything. Jeff Kennett losing the pot in the crowd. Controversy galore. Injuries. We've got it all this afternoon, and it's a thriller to the Hawks by just four points. Shit, what a game. Here's Jeff Kennett again. This is another decision that was not given by umpire McLaren. <laughs> Felicity, she can't believe her husband's like that. You can get your footy, can't it? 50 out from the Hawks goal. Lloyd to Lovett Murray. He's over the line with a throw in. As Bateman and Lloyd have a bit of a get together.
What a game this is for a place in September. Taken by Hodge, quick kick forward to half forward. Slattery needs to be sure here. Oh, gee, put Atkinson under the pub. He was good enough to get out of it. Off to Stanton. Now he's got Lovett running for him. Coming up from fullback though, Murphy. He left made superbly right. He made the right decision, Murphy. He left his opponent. Virgil. Now Mitchell. Arch the back. Beautiful kick. Mark taken by Moss. Too far out to score. Touch, Scotty, touch! Straight to Mumphreys after the ball was touched to Watson to McPhee. Little left foot kick. Now Love it has it. And half back for the Bombers. Over the top, G. I don't know about that option. Hooker put down by Brown. And Hawks get it back again. And hard up against the line. Here's McGlynn. McGlynn's got space. He's got Dallas short. He ignores that. He wants to kick a goal, Ben McGlynn. And he misses the no right. Peppering the goals at the moment, Hawthorne can't kick one though. Oh, gee. That was Bateman or Lloyd. Yes, he's got it. Now, I'm just, uh, I'm just thinking about that here, Lloyd. I mean, he's, he's hit the guy high, and if he was on the end of it, what would he be thinking? Should he be reported and get out? And I think he'd come up with an archer, yes. Mm -hmm. Chance Bateman beautifully done. Off to Mitchell. Who kicks inside 50? Hawks got an extra man here. Oh, almost a great mark to Atkinson. At least he held it up for Essendon, and now he fed it out to McPhee. I like Atkinson. That was a good effort. Now McPhee on the left. Got to be clean here. Three on one in favour of the Bombers. They're away. Advantage paid. McVeigh has a lot of room to work with. He goes into the pocket to Hurley. Who improves the angle to Stanton, and Stanton should go back and put Essendon in front. Gee, Stan, um, Hurley, what a good player he is. Good effort there by Paddy Ryder, get out. And they've got the numbers running there, open it up, but Hurley's decision to play on and square the footy up. He's been the only tall forward that's had an impact for the Bombers. This to give Essendon the lead. And Stanton has missed. He's missed a couple that he should have got, Stanton. This is where Sewell, in this last quarter, yeah. less rotations, a, you know, a great midfielder in the competition these days. It's a huge out. I, I just can't... We've seen the game change before our very eyes. And because another, of that. Their kick-ins, Hawthorne with their kick-ins, have been so effective. Savage in just game number three. Runs it to the wing. Osborne... Well done, Watson. Put some pressure on. Mill back to Savage. Slattery's tackled good. Osborne manages to keep it in. And now it's over. Ball landing just inside the line. So boundary throw in half forward for the Hawks. 40 seconds left in the quarter. It's been a good comeback by the Bombers. Kick five goals to two. Get themselves back into the game. Good tackle on Mill. No opportunity. It's a Riley Milne so bounce 60 metres from Hawthorne's goal. Renoff did well. There's another dubious looking umpire decision, but the ball comes towards Lewis who pushes Perth out of the way and marks 25 metres from goal in the pocket. Gee, what an important kick with only uh, about 10 to be the last kick of the quarter. Jordan Lewis Angus. from set shots has kicked five goals, one for the year. As we get the siren for three quarter time. Just missing for the near side. So three quarter time, the Hawks by five points. Well, the quarter, <laughs> where do you start with a quarter like that? It had everything, including the scoreboard getting closer and closer. And that man, the skipper, Involved in what was a pretty nasty incident with Brad Sewell and Campbell Brown had plenty to say about it and still saying it. So Campbell Brown just pays Matthew Lloyd to visit at three quarter time. Just stay with it here because a few players are milling around. A couple of Hawks, no, the umpires have got in and Richie Vandenberg keeping the peace. 
That's great to see as we take a break <laughs> at the MCG. What a last quarter we're in for. A spot in September up for grabs. It's the Hawks over the Bombers by just... Look at the interchanges, and this is where Essendon have to take advantage. They've had more interchanges in that third quarter. Hawks down to 20 players. Mark Howard. Only two on the bench for the Hawks for the rest of the game. Sewell hasn't been sighted. Max Bailey still with that knee injury. He won't be back today. And Campbell Brown, he had a serious chat to Matty Lloyd as they ran off at three-quarter time. Richie Vandenberg had to uh, drag Campbell Brown away. So some real, real tension between the two sides now. Big win for Hawks. Two men on the bench. Tough from here. Now we start the last quarter. The reigning Premiers lead by five. It's Ryder against Renoff. Renoff done really well on the run. Ryder has a fresh area at it. Hodge can't get boot to ball. Ryder has another crack and will have a secondary bounce. Stephen, it'll be a famous victory for one of these clubs. The day that we made the final. I know it's only an eight spot, but there was something up for this game. This game is up for grabs and it's going to be a historic victory. The winner will be remembered for a long, long while. McGlynn overran it. And Shields. And, and the other thing with it, they're going to be nice and tuned up for September. This is like, isn't it? This it is, is like absolutely, 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 absolutely like the finals. finals yeah. All the hallmarks yeah. of it. Had everything. From the bounce, Hodge wins the clearance to McGlynn. Quick hands to Lewis. Trying to bust his way through his shields. Soccer off the ground by Osborne. Pateman threw himself at the football. Soccer off the ground by Lovett Murray. Watson's there, going in hard was Muston. Brave stuff from Watson, kept his head over the ball. And another bounce. And we should say, it is not impossible because there has been four finals won, Rob. Yes. So that's Smith gone. Yep. Well done, Ryder reaching over the top. Savage. Well done, Mitchell, too. They were quick hands, but a free kick off the, the ball. Just for a jumper against Henry Slattery. Torioli, who has tormented Henry Slattery this afternoon at the MCG, kicks it wide. Kennedy. Bateman. Good tackle, McPhee. Now Kennedy, though. Back to Muston, who can get this final quarter away to a great start for the Hawks from 45. Can't pull it back far enough. In fact, he's missed everything. So a free kick in the back pocket to Nathan Lovett Murray. Oh, that's an important miss. He yeah. knows it. Got a couple out here, the Bombers, near the boundary line. That is pretty poor defensive work by the Hawks there. Stay there, stay out of the protected area. Play on. Dyson kicks to Ryder. Renoff gets there, but good mark, Ryder. Have you seen the ruck battle, Robert? Oh, I think uh, I think Reynolds done really well in the ruck. He's uh, he's certainly won with the hitouts and the Hawks with the clearances. Hurley, free kick against Showmakers. Advantage paid. Winderlich handballs to Lloyd, who gives it to Slattery. He's run from half back. Centering kicks a beauty to Neagle. He can't get there though. Just overcooked the kick slightly. Neagle's got it now. Got the handball back. Watson misses. Got to kick up. We keep saying it. Guys miss got too many goals. They try and kick, kick up your leg throw through. Not to steer it through. Oh, wow. Slattery had the right idea there. It just had too much on it. So Gillen finds Mitchell. Possession 28. From half back. Driving kick beyond the wing. Dyson needs to be good here. Couldn't handle it. It lets Hawthorne in. Renoff off to Savage. Hasn't got too many options. He kicks deep. Lewis running back with the flight, but so is Robert Murray. Coming from the other direction, and he marks. And away. Welsh being quiet. Off the pairs. Delicate little left foot kicks okay. Slattern. This time he finds the target. Rinderley. Where's the run from behind? Provided by Atkinson from 65. Thumping kick to the goal square. Nagel at the back. Fist away from Gillum. Just in the nick of time. Behind to the Bombers. And Gillum wastes no time. Spots up Rioli. He goes short to Mitchell. Who's coming up for his 29th position. Stanton leads away for Essendon with 23. Osborne. Slices the pass to Bateman, who gives it to Birchall, who goes to McGlynn. Stay there, play on. Kicks to half forward to Muston. Managed to shrug off Lovett. Wasn't the best of tackles from Lovett. 
Now Mustin into the pocket. Good delivery to Lewis. And Jim Lovett was a bit disappointing there. Absolutely he was. And Lewis Short finds Osmond, who is a very good kick for goal from a set shot. And again, the Hawks have taken it from a kick in. This will be their sixth shot for goal today if they're able to put it through. They've only done it 20 times this year. So they've been able to carve their way through the Essendon midfield with their kick-ins repeatedly today. Michael Osman kicked one goal straight today. Poster. Hawthorne lead by four points. Slattery in the back pocket for the Bombers. Got Fletcher back in the defensive goal square. Pairs moves for him. Now, well, crowd by McGlynn, so back to Slattery from half back. Long target is Hurley. Fist away is effective from Murphy. Kennedy with the handle quickly off to Mustard Bill Osborne. Now to Lewis. Feeds it back to Kennedy. Hawks looking okay at the moment. Osborne, can he find a target? Beautiful kick is marked by Bateman. Who's away? Runs to 49. Kick not great. They've, uh, they've got to hit the scoreboard. Yeah. They've got to hit the scoreboard because they're two players short. The momentum's going their way at the moment, but they've got to convert. You know, I'm sure he would have shot for goal there normally, Bateman, but he saw it last minute with Hodge. And you know why, Malcolm? I reckon because it was Hodge, he thought, I've yep. got to give it to him. Yep. And it, had it been Joe Blow, I reckon he might have had a shot. Well, Is Joe, Joe Blow playing today? Uh, alongside Joe the Goose. <laughs> Fletcher in some trouble. Hawthorne, 30 disposals to 19 in this quarter so far. Hodge is in there. Fletcher's struggling. He's really struggling, Fletcher. I've got a kick in the shin or something. Well, he did break a leg, didn't he, this year? The corky, maybe. So, bounce. 25 out from the Hawks' goal. Must have went up. Pears is in there, Watson, and I will come in and bounce again. It's a psychological effect here, too. A goal yeah. here. And Renouf's been told to get down and do the ruck work. Renouf's been a kick behind play. The runner went out and said, get down there, big fella. There he is. And he tapped it in the direction of Muston. I love it, Murray. Somehow got it to Lonnie, and his kick was smothered. Bateman again, a quick snap for goal. Into the goal square, Hurley underneath it. Couldn't take the mark. And the Bombers will go safe. Oh, they try to rush it through for a behind. And in the end, it's uh, not a bad result for Essendon, or is it? Ball still in play. They will save themselves a point there, and it might mean a lot oh, at the end of the game. Had to go over there. Shields. Huge slippery. Hamble went straight to Lovett. They've got it to Watson. It's a dangerous handle, but it's a good one to Ryder. Is Ryder good enough? He is to Pears. Dangerous play by Essendon, but fortune favours the Brave. And they're away. Pears has a couple of bounces, draws the player. Dishes off to Lovett Murray. Now Atkinson has a couple of bounces. Might go all the way. Run his full measure. Run down, but still kicks the goal. The Bombers are in front of the MCG. What a goal. What a goal from Atkinson. Here's the dangerous handball we called quarters, and quite right, right it was under the pump. Had to get around a couple. But then Atkinson just took off. What about the chase from Rioli? And how he was able to get boot the ball is quite amazing. Uh, just 15. Just 15. Let him stand so up. So mark taken by Hocking. Bombers in front for the first time since the 23-minute mark of the first quarter. Dyson now can keep going to 55. Wobbly old kick to the goal square. It's through! Bounced at the goal square! The, the worry is... There's Brad Sewell, which is uh, terrific to see him there. Got knocked out early in that third quarter. The worry for Hawthorne is when the ball gets in their defensive 50, Essendon score. 15 times since half-time, the Bombers have got it in there for 13 scores. Mitchell kicks to half-forward, and the mark's taken by Moss, who uh, pops it over the top to Lewis, who kept on running from the centre square. Drills a long ball, down the court behind. Fletcher dropped the mark. It's a rush behind of the Hawks. Essendon lead by seven. 
You're almost going to have to play perfect football now, Hawthorne. That making mistakes is going to hurt them badly because they're not going to make up the ground running backwards. Target out there, Montrees. Chop of the arm against Campbell Brown and Rob, just to what you were saying a few moments ago, inside 50s, Hawthorne 55, Essendon 36. But the Bombers incredibly find themselves yep. seven points in front. As Mumphreys kicks towards half forward, Hurley pushed out of it. Winderlich inside Stanton, good running. It was a great handball from Winderlich and he finds his target, does he? No, Lloyd can't mark at the back. Nagel paddles to his own advantage. Well done by Renoff, met him hard. Gillum. Now Moss, short kick wide. I think the target was Rioli. Just that... see Essendon with more run at the moment. Hurley. Off the ball. Now, it's going back to Slattery. He was applying the shepherd on Rioli, and Rioli's been pinned for putting him down. I don't think he'll mind that too much. Gives Hawthorne a chance to reset in defence. That's, and... the, that's the real problem, isn't it? If Hawthorne don't use the ball going forward, I said running backwards before, I meant running back. They're going to be just they're going to be tonning it. It's not enough energy. So Slattery bangs it long. Hurley from the side. The big fist was from Renoff. Stanton, quick hands to Dyson. Rioli threw his body on the ball. Dyson has another go. Did well. Got it out to McVeigh, who gave it off to Prismal. Is it 15? Umpire says yes, and the mark is taken by Winderlich. Just got to keep the ball moving, Essendon. Just keep it moving, moving, moving. Make the Hawks run because they're two players short. Tie them out. Work them over. They've just got to keep that ball moving, Essendon. That's 15. So, Jason Winderlich. 16 goals, 7 this season. That's a beautiful kick. The Bombers have got a sniff in September. Go to Winterlick, and the Bombers have kicked eight goals to two since half time. Hodge, Mitchell in the middle. The stars are there, Lewis. The old firm's there. They've got to get this out. Play on. Ryder, Hodge eventually got it four, but only as far as Hocking, who can rebuild here off the Stanton. Kick wide and effective. Good mark taken by Winderlick. Keep the ball moving, Bombers. He does that, Rob. Uh, not the greatest of kicks. Oh, gee, Renoff and Brown mucked it up. Still in play. And Hurley, still an opportunity. Hurley, what can he muster from here? Off to Lonigan and a go. What a mistake. Bombers out to a 19-point lead. Here's the goal to Lonigan. Bad defensive error from the Hawks. She's a good player, Hurley. As the ball's bounced back in the middle, Ryder over the top. Mitchell couldn't snaffle it. Love it, Murray. Beautiful sweeping handball to Prismal. Who puts it inside 50. Mark could be taken by Winderlich. Birchall. Shields. Well, I reckon, Malcolm, Mitchell. what the Hawks have to do now is take it down the middle and be bold to it. They can't afford to play any possession footy. Savage to Lewis. Got to get goals on the board. He kicks to half forward. Beautiful delivery. And that's a free kick to McGlynn for a chop of the arms. Back and meter. Take back one and meter with him. Still plenty of time left in the match. Hawks need the next goal. And if the Bombers get it, it's curtains. Play on. Play on. Play on. Not much on offer for McGlynn. That's the handball backwards. To Mitchell, who kicks. Oh, that's uh, not a good option. Fletcher to Stanton. He was outnumbered three to one there, Dowler. Now McPhee, he U-turns, and that is a very dodgy kick. Osborne kicks towards goal, and it's a rush behind. Your heart is in your mouth when Adam McPhee gets the footy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have those days, can you? <laughs> Henry Slattery getting some treatment. McPhee in the back pocket. Hi there. Over 77,000 here today, Michael. What a great crowd for a Saturday afternoon. Absolutely sensational. As McPhee kicks towards Hooker. Well done, Renoff down to Shields. His quick kick is marked by Stanton at half back. Have a look at that. Hodge and uh, Rioli, the two interchange players for Hawthorne. 
Sewell at the back, he won't come on. So I would think that Hodge and Rioli give them a two or three minute rest and then they'll have to work their way through the rest of the quarter. Love it, Murray, only as far as Birchall. Savage, 55 from goal, searching handball, Moss off the show and makers, non-dominant side, has a ping and kicks a great goal. Hawthorne not done with yet. So first goal in league football to Ryan Schoenmakers and the Hawks still well and truly alive. Don't worry about that. There's only two goals of difference and there's plenty of time left in the match as the retired Scott Lucas looks on. Bombers by two goals. Hodge doing the ruck work, incredible. And follow-up work as well. Oh, oh, the, the rule now and the circle makes this possible. It was in the old days. If he was coming from 20 metres away, yeah, he'd yeah. be getting spread eagle. But you can actually get smart with this. Well, the Ruckman are limited in their yeah. run-ups, aren't they? That's right. Ryder reaches over the top. He's got it again. Yeah, he roped it. He's incredible. <laughs> He's incredible. Can I say it held to him from the side? This is where third man up. You want the third man up? Oh, absolutely. This is a cakewalk for a third man up. Well, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> About ten up. Four up, yeah. <laughs> Ball's knocked to the wing. Getting there first is Hocking. He slaps it to McVeigh on his run side. So he gives it back to Hocking. And he's run down by Kennedy. And pass says play on. Now the kick to half forward comes to Stanton. Over the top to McVeigh. Kicks towards Hurley. Beautiful delivery. And Hurley too good. Well, every time Essendon put it in their forward 50, they are super, super dangerous. And well done to McVeigh. Composure and picked out the dominant forward for the Bombers. Hurley's been really good up forward for them. He's kicked two goals. He's a massive unit for 19 years of age too, isn't he, Rob? Uh, he's a quality, quality kid. This again to give the Bombers a three-goal breathing space. Kicked off the side of the boot. Could be a handy point though. Essendon leads by 13. And the official crowd 77,278. Well, it's had it all, including the crowd. We're not quite in September, but we may as well be. This has been a wonderful game of football. Gillum. Short to Mitchell coming in for disposal number 34. Wide towards Rioli. And Dyson, Rell has got to beat a couple. He holds it up well, waits for some support from Shields, but Bombers with the numbers, love it, Murray. Keeps it in, Hurley, brilliant. Off to Atkinson, who we know can run, draws the player. Over the top, chance for Watson. Deep in the right forward pocket, looks for Monfries. He's slipped over, and Monfries will get a chance as he got back to his feet. Nagel, McVeigh needs to be quick, is offline. Just hasn't got the confidence, Watson. Has he to go for goal there? That was, he was entitled to have a shot then. 20 metres out on the burst, nice and steady. Yeah. Mark taken by Bateman, who drills the pass to oh. Dowler, who slipped at the crucial moment. Fletcher into the picture. Oh, that's a good win for Essendon, just holding it up. Bateman coming off. Ryder goes up uncontested and then <laughs> misses everything. Lewis just ducked the head and went for it. Got it out to Osman. He's drilled into the ground by Ryder. Another bounce. So time running out for the Hawks now. Essendon has not played finals since 2004. Done a really good job, Matthew Knights. I like the brand of footy he's tried to get his team to play. It's attacking football. It's high scoring football, it's exciting football if you're a player in the Essendon team, you'd love to play this sort of football. I think there's been a roll of the dice today, Rob, and I reckon they've had their luck. Yeah, I, I'm not so sure that he'd go in with that uh, three-man forward line that he's gone with for most of this game. It hasn't worked. Beautiful kick by Prismal Hurley. Gee, this kid's so good. Now he loads up on the left, if you don't mind, from outside 50. Let's fly and kicks an absolute ripper.
Well, you see young Tunnel mentioned him earlier. We're watching him uh, mostly this year, and uh, that's an unbelievable skill. Uh, just from just outside 50 on your non-preferred side. How dangerous is that going to be for the next 10 or 12 years? Three goals to 10 in the second half. Well, there was something happened just after half time, Rob, that changed the game dramatically. Well, we had a big week last week, uh, midweek, talking about Buddy Franklin. It'll be just as big this week coming up with Matthew Lloyd. Well, it'll be bigger because Matthew Lloyd won't be playing finals and he might have played his last game for Essendon. You just don't know. As the Bombers work it forward again, Winderlich loads up. Bit more icing on the Essendon cake. So let's have a look at the hit on Matthew Lloyd, boys. It's fair to say that Matthew won't be playing in September. That's a given. Do you agree? Yes, absolutely. So where does it place him as far as uh, his future goes? Depends how long the suspension is, quarters. Right and now with an opportunity. Short into the pocket. Stanman's got it. It depends how long the suspension is. Like Runs around, Rob. Pulls it back too fast. Uh, behind only to the Bombers. Even at three-quarter time, we heard some people saying it could be six weeks. If it's six weeks, you'd have to think twice about would you go on the next year. I don't think it'll be that long. What would you put it down as? What would be your call if you're on that? Oh, I would think that's worth four. The other one we're going to have a look at in a moment is Paddy Ryder. Now, he was involved in an incident. Which will be looked at. Now, what do you think of this one's was? He and Hodge. So Hodge through one first and then right a pop. He's got some worries too. So a couple of headaches for the Bombers going into next week. I've seen plenty get a game for that. And can presidents be fined for having go at umpires? As in... Not if they paid their money to language? come in. No, not if they came and paid their money. <laughs> come off at quarters. <laughs> I'm joking. That was towards umpire Scott McLaren. What just we as want well now still is the market of the year. Might legislate. Eh? What the mark of the year here? Big mark, someone. Just to finish the day off. Welsh kicks to the hot spot. McPhee to oh went without it, McPhee. Can do that. Lonigan for Essendon. Now it comes out to Love It Murray. He's played a pretty darn good game for Essendon today. Alistair Clarkson. Uh, premiership one year, never made the finals the following year. The last is, coach to do that. Uh, the last coach is, uh, is very happy that this is happening. <laughs> so that happened 11 years ago. 11 years ago. Uh, 10, actually, 10, 99. Uh, are you glad to lose that? Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> uh, but well, at least we did win a couple of flags. There's another record you've got I wish you'd lose. Yeah. <laughs> 37 goals, 17, wasn't it, Rob? Yes, the day Geelong kicked the record score against the Brisbane Bears. I'd like to see you lose that one. Chance for Dyson. Little toe poke inside attacking 50. Great pick up from Nagel. He's got support, has he? Yes, Hurley. Left foot again from 45. Oh, Stanton will just let it go for a goal. Hurley's kicked four. The Welsh leaves the field. And uh, Hurley's kicked his fourth goal. Michael Hurley. Have you seen Campbell's Brown Day? Campbell Brown's day, Rob. Oh, he's had a bit of everything, hasn't he? <laughs> Good, the bad, and the ugly. He couldn't uh, fold his uh, <laughs> couldn't fold his emotion. There are days when a player just arrives on the league scene, and Michael Hurley's done that today. Well done to him. Bombers going to attack again. Control the mark, Angus. And it's the mark going Hawthorne's way. It's a rubber bit of salt for Hawthorne wound too, Michael Christian. Lance Franklin won't be there round one next year. No, you're quite right. Hadn't thought of that far ahead of quarters, to be honest, but you're quite right. It's Rioli now. From centre wing, not too much to go to. Moss and Prismal. He's been important this final term. Brett Prismal as well for Essendon. It was a good tackle by Pears. And we're going to bounce in the forward pocket. Matthew Lloyd will be going through plenty of emotions now and tonight. Well done, Dowler. Ball over, though. Boundary thrown in the pocket. 
pretty much an all-round today, isn't it, for both clubs? Hawthorne missing out, they'll be disappointed. But it had a lot of injuries. Matthew Lord, as you've mentioned, you know, he's certainly got a lot of worries. Moss can't pick it up. McGlynn grabs it and ducks the head. Love it, Murray. And another bounce right in front of the Hawks' goal. It, it, today almost sums up Hawthorne's year, doesn't it? I, I mean, was, I should say that. Saul down, getting down injured. to 20. Saul getting injured was just the final mm. nail. And look at those two key forwards. You'd love to have them playing this afternoon. I'll Come tell on. you what, uh, I reckon they'll be stunned, the Hawks. Look out next year. They'll have a healthy list. They'll get a really good summer in. And they've been able to blood a lot of young players who'll be better for the experience as well. So uh, they will be back. Rioli to Bateman. He shrugs the tackle and goes towards goal. And well, that is an absolute beauty from Chance Bateman. He's put up sore as well. It's the Bombers by 23. What would uh, Michael Hurley be worth on the open market right now, Malcolm? Uh, plenty. Well... You're on the Gold Coast board, Malcolm. Yep. You'd be interested in a lad like that, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, the, the Gold Coast team will take 16 uncontracted play, or up to. One from each team. Ball inside the attacking 50. Milne gets a good bounce. Kennedy. Back inside to Mitchell. Virtual. Just at half pace at the moment, the Hawks. Virtual's handball. G put Kennedy under the pump. He did well to get the handball away. Back to Birchall. Osborne. Mitchell. Bateman now. Well, I'm not quite sure about that, but he gives it to Hodge, who kicks inside attacking 50. Show and makers. Comes to meet it. Kennedy. Hodge will kick for goal. Into the pocket and good mark. Taken by Osborne. Just about out on their feet, the Hawks. They've been brave, made a real contest of it, led at half time, had a handy lead at half time, and then of course Sewell went down in the first 30 seconds of the third quarter, and pretty much from that point on, Essendon have had control. Clever kick. Go to Hawthorne. Two goals to Michael Osmond. It's the Bombers by 17 points. About to go into September for the first time in five years. Chris Einstein against oh. Carlton or Adelaide. How would the Bombers go? Have a pick. I reckon they'll go really well. Do you? Oh, yeah, look, be a few Carlton players pretty... Carlton uh, supporters pretty nervous, I would imagine. Yeah. Who, a who very would you, good record you fancy Carlton. at the moment? Who would you fancy right now? Carlton or Adelaide? Against uh, Adelaide. Adelaide? Adelaide? Yeah. Thanks, Sammy. Thanks, hmm. And off the tap to Hodge. A gutsy performance from the Hawks. Against the odds this afternoon, Lewis slaps it towards Bateman. Here's Dyson, run down by Bateman. Great tackle, and we'll have a throw in. Ran off in the ruck work against Hooker. Good to see Paddy Ryder get through the game, so that's been important for the Bombers. He's got through. Watson's got through. Lewis over to Milne. Here's one for you, Rob. First time since 1984 that Carlton, Essendon and Collingwood have been in a final series together. Is that right? 25 years. 25 years. That's amazing, isn't it? Well, it's good for the game, isn't it, to have those powerhouse teams there, Chris O? Carlton, Collingwood. Oh, Essendon. Now, it's all right when it's their turn. I mean, there are other teams. There's a lot of teams around the country that like to be there too. Well, they've had their turn, Malcolm. We've had premierships <laughs> out of Perth and Sydney, and we've had them out of Adelaide. And yeah. Brisbane. Brisbane had three in a row. So Essendon through to the finals. Michael Hurley, four goals, was one of the stars for the Bombers. And the reigning premiers will not take part in the September action.
day for Gladiators today. A wonderful game of football. You blokes have held on. And end result, the Bombers are back in the finals. Yeah, it's been a long time, Howie. So, uh, no, it's fantastic for the side. And, you know, we haven't known what success is for a while. So, um, no, it's fantastic. Hawthorne will bounce back next year. But uh, the boys get a shot at it next week. You played enough footy to know, mate, that there was a big incident between you and Brad Sewell. And as I said, you played enough footy to know it'll be a big talking point this week. How'd you see it, mate? Yeah, I, I wouldn't know, but obviously you just let the video do it and uh, what will be will be and uh, we'll just get on with that, yeah. Campbell Brown was just having a couple of worse on the ground there as well. Yeah, we've had a fair uh, 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 battles over the years and obviously no one likes seeing their teammate get knocked out, so uh, that was unfortunate uh, with Brad Sewell and I hope he's OK. What does it mean to you and the boys at the club, mate? I think it's 2004 since you've last played in September. It's got to be a wonderful thing for Matty Knights and you boys. Yeah, it does because we've been so up and down and... Uh, you know, we just uh, been in the bottom four for four or five years. So uh, to get back like play in front of a crowd like this and have the experience of Michael Hurley, I know it's fantastic. And uh, the young boys who will get an opportunity next week. Enjoy September, mate. Congratulations. Thanks, Howie. Yeah, and also, almost a resignation there from Matthew Lloyd that he won't be participating in September action for the Bombers. There's Brad Saul. And just a couple of the Bomber players getting across to Brad Saul there who didn't take any further place. And Matthew Lloyd... Just offering some thoughts to Brad Sewell, and that's great to see. And you wouldn't expect anything less from the Essendon captain. But he won't be, you wouldn't think, being part of this September action for the Bombers. Hawthorne season's finished. The Bombers go on to play in September.